Uh, let's actually get myself back on the. Um. So yeah, do we well, have I everybody mean, here? You just. I, I think we do. I no. I, I gotta. I'm not. But here. Let's see. Let's see if <laughs> Dice got stuff. Mm hmm. Gotta gotta get you in the uh, the room, I believe. There is no way in hell I am rolling that as stats. <laughs> <laughs> that is three tens, two twelves, and an eight. I mean, we have somebody that has like four elevens. Yeah, but I'm not gonna <laughs> roll that. I'm sorry. No. No, no. no. I I decline you, dice. Don't worry about it. You can you can roll that while we're um getting ourselves set up. So uh, if we want to introduce everybody, we have the wonderful dragon who is hosting, who who is essentially the main main host person here. Uh, dragon is streaming on their channel, and a lot of this is in part due to Dragon coming to me and being like, "Hey, I want to do Pathfinder." I need Pathfinder. to do a campaign. Yeah, I want to do Pathfinder. And, and Mm -hmm. Be my DM. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what's happened here. I have been enlisted to uh, DM for these guys. And... And there's your first mistake. Yeah, fuck. Uh, we got... <laughs> we have five people right now. Um, oh, boy. And I think that's all I'm going to be able to handle is just you five. Because if we go six or seven or eight... Um... I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get overwhelmed. I mean, granted, granted, I wouldn't are. mind. <laughs> I am overwhelmed a little bit. I wouldn't mind doing a like huge campaign with a lot of people, but well, that's not... after you get some experience. Yes, yeah. after I get some experience. This, if everything pans out well, I want this to continue as my very as the very first campaign. Um, I want this to continue after this if everything goes well and you guys are all happy and excited about it. Um, so... Well, I think we're all excited about it because we all want to play fucking Pathfinder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're clearly excited. We're all here. So, let's kind of just... If we weren't, we wouldn't be here. Before, before we get into the world, the starting world that we're going to be, uh, let's introduce everybody's characters. Uh, so, Aaron, who are you? <laughs> He might not be here. Uh, my connection drops while streams are loading. The, uh, uh, okay. My connection. Bruce, <laughs> who are you? We'll get to Aaron in a moment. Uh, my name is Byron Blackbird. I am a blacksmith from my village. And uh, you see, I kept making weapons for everyone. I was like, you know what? I want a piece of this action. And I'm an adrenaline junkie. So that's that's why I'm here. So. <laughs> oh, the best motivation. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Because you wanna you wanna challenge. You want to fight. I want to kill things. Fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So Bruce, being a blacksmith and everything, is going out on an adventure. You've come to the wrong place. Uh, Drevian, <laughs> who are you? I am, I am a self ranger named Lisa. Oh boy! Who's just traveling around? And and the hunt walked into people and was like, "Hey, you guys look interesting." <laughs> like, hey, you guys look like you might have some secrets worth knowing. Oh, yes. secrets keeper, Aaron. We can hear you now. And since Aaron is back, who are you, Aaron? I am Osvin Grom, a tribal knoll prince. <laughs> Seeking to make himself stronger so that he might overtake his father. Oh, nice. Nice. So, in other words, we gotta kill you. Awesome. You're gonna be the final boss of the campaign. I didn't I mean... hear what the fuck he just said. <laughs> uh, you can well, turn him I... up. Yeah, you can You can no, right click people. Like, I had, like, it was completely mute for me. I think I need to reconnect. Hold on. Hold. Hold. Okay. Aaron? Hello? Aaron? Hello? Well, this is why we're doing a test. Yeah. yeah. Yep, can't hear him. You can't hear him either. I can hmm. hear Aaron now. Okay, Drevian can hear him, but Aaron can't hear him now. <laughs> oh my god. god. Uh, what is up with this shit? Aaron, try reconnecting. Just hop out and hop back in. <laughs> uh, okay. 
<laughs> that was really kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. Um, you can hear things now, Aaron? I, I just re-rolled those nasty what? stats. Can I keep these new ones? Uh, as long as it's not 318s. It's not. Now? There's two yeah, 16s, you, 215, a 14, and an 18. Is Aaron talking oh, again? God. Yes, Aaron yes, is, is talking. I can't hear him. Oh my god. Uh, both of you, right-click <laughs> each other and make sure you haven't accidentally muted each other. Okay, I just muted him and unmuted him. <laughs> god. Aaron. Oh my god. Hi. While you, while you, while you two figure this out, uh, Joseph, <laughs> Doctor Hobo, who are you? I am Altine Silverfin, also a prince. However, I'm not looking to overthrow my father or anything. In fact, I want nothing to do with royalty. I want to go explore the land. Oh, by the way, I'm a mermaid, or I should say, what? merman, because I got. Merman. A because <laughs> wait, wait, because uh, what? I'd smack. <laughs> what did you say you were? Weird shit's going on. I said I'm a merman, but yes. Uh, because you he, have a what? He's been cursed. He's been cursed to have an unnatural wanderlust. Hence, why he doesn't want to stay at home and become royalty. He wants to go see the world, because something in his head tells him to do so. He wants to be bull tackled by himself. He's, he also seems to have a penchant for getting more curses because he's been cursed with a little bit of uh, blindness. Just a little bit. Only a little? Only a Only little. little. Like on a scale from like a... 1 to 10. Oh, uh, God. We're, we're, talking like, we're talking like a 5. He's got cloudy vision. <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. And finally, Dragon. Who are you? Um, Give me a moment. <laughs> Kino, introduce yourself again, because I said so. <laughs> introduce myself again. Okay, so while Thragon gets themselves taken care of, I'm Kino. I'm the, uh, the essential DM of this campaign. Uh, this is my very first time doing this. It's going to, uh... It's gonna be an interesting... It's gonna be an interesting be fun. one. Mm-hmm. Because the, the name of this campaign, or for, for those of you who don't know, campaigns get names because they're special like that. The name of the campaign is the Elder Root Swamp Mysteries. Interesting. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. interesting, actually. Fun. Aaron, can you hear me now? Oh no. I don't think they can hear each other at all. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> it's, I, it's... I just... Aaron. I normally... Yeah? I... Uh, right click oh, Jervian's... Oh, you heard him? Aaron, can you yeah. hear Drevian? No. Aaron, fuck! Right-click Drevian's name and check to make sure he's not muted or that his volume hasn't been adjusted. The 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 thing ain't the thing. He's not muted, and the and the uh, line says uh, his user volume is one hundred percent. Can you tell I... we're professionals? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome to three different professional streams. <laughs> There's no yeah, issues well, at all. Well, I mean, we kind of have to, you know, work out the kinks because, I mean, this is literally a test day, and that's yeah. what this is. It's a test day, and okay, we're I probably drove in that time. Yes. Oh, oh really? Awesome. Fantastic. Everything. We good. have people that can hear. Awesome. Thank God. Oh wait, I can't hear myself. I mean, Bruce, Bruce. Oh, no, woe is you. <laughs> Bruce, I thought you were blind, not deaf. <laughs> That's uh, me. Wait, That's not even me. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a new curse. Oh, no. <laughs> Your curses are all over the place. Let me just tack on deaf while I'm at it. <laughs> oh, boy. I just realized I'm the only female. No, I think... Wasn't uh, Thragon your character female? <laughs> I think that one went over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets over my head. My reflexes are too quick. I see five I guys. Oh my god. 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 Of the galaxy <laughs> <laughs> that reference, though. I love that line. I do Shy? too. I'm not here. 
but you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tempted to make a, a Muppet reference. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyways, uh, with this, the name of the campaign, uh, like I said, it's the, the Elder Root Swamp Mysteries, and this is, this is going to be kind of common knowledge for everybody in starting in. The town starts in, in Rakshar, and this place is very famous around the nation for being a town that harvests a special kind of tree called the Elder Root. And this this tree bark essentially kind of acts like ironwood from the Game of Thrones, where once it's processed, um, once it's processed, it becomes a harder kind of wood. It kind of come, becomes as hard as iron, and people are very good at turning this this uh, resource into. Uh, products for building, for construction, for weapons and armor and things like that. So the things go boom. So the town is very famous for having this really nice resource of acquiring, and the swamp is huge. Like it's kind of like a huge rainforest. Um, so it, it's kind of like this huge rainforest where it's like it's no one's really explored all of it and recently people have been going missing people have been dying and the swamp has become very dangerous for the workers that go into the swamp to harvest this elder root these and elder root trees What's one up? one one quick second i have to mention something about in my chat there's somebody being rude please don't be rude in chat I mean, just common sense, please. Mm -hmm. Don't be, go stream don't sniping the other people. Well, that too. Well, but... I mean, stream sniping is not going to be an issue. But uh, but yeah, don't be don't be rude. This is it is a nice, safe place for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And we want this to be a nice, happy community because we're all trying to have fun. That's all this is and at that's... the end of the day. I may be trying it's to fun. kill everybody a little tiny bit, but uh, that's just my job as the DM. I was going to say, isn't that what our DM is supposed to do? <clears throat> well, I mean, the DM's really, really, the real job of the DM is to paint the picture, paint the, the, the world for you guys to interact in. Uh, if you guys do something stupid and get yourselves killed for it, that's not my fault. <laughs> That's a personal problem. <laughs> That's a yeah. personal That'll problem. <laughs> you do do mm. something stupid like pick a character that can't be healed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> think we are Here, let uh... me heal you. Why is your flesh searing off? <laughs> Mistakes oh, have been made. So I hear a shy baby in here. Shy baby, did you want to join in? Did you, did you have a character and everything made and everything? Yeah. You oh. helped me make her. I did. I remember that. If you give me... <laughs> um, the he doesn't link... even remember his own campaign look, characters. Look, <laughs> it's been a long week. I've been sick. I'm just now feeling better. Um, You're a sick kitty. Shy Baby, while you door. give me the link to your character, why don't you introduce yourself? Um... Yeah, I'm going to increase your volume because you're kind of quiet on my end. But yeah, introduce yourself and your character. Um, my character is Hestia Foxclaw. He is a elf sorceress and he's a chaotic neutral. Okay. Yo, I'm an elf. Let's go. We, we have two elves. Actually, I, I think... I was going to make babies. Uh, she's the only one without a, without a bow. I think we have three elves, actually, because uh, Thragon mm -hmm. may have yep. their character idea all set up to introduce. Rivesh the Subtle. It is an elf alchemist that likes blowing shit up. Oh boy. Very subtle. <laughs> I know. That's why I went with the subtle, because it's Well, ironic. at least now I know how I'll die. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, I don't have to take the, you know, the abilities to make it so I can, you know, it, not do splash damage to everybody in the party. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I mean, I can, you know, I could do that. I, I be think a good it would be appreciated, member. especially by the, uh, the melee. New and the new people, because I believe, <laughs> I believe this is Shy Baby's, well, Drevian's, and Bruce's first time, first or second time playing Pathfinder, yes? If only I could second, play a yeah. secretly chaotic evil character, and then in combat he, my character just goes sort of partially insane. That would be awesome. I mean, uh, your true you're... alignment is chaotic incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oops, butterfingers. <laughs> you can play your characters however you want. Just know that once the game gets started, there are consequences for all of your actions. Yo, who's yeah, calling my character could be, can be kind of a prank uh, or two. Uh, apparently, we're just getting all the trolls in chat tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be because we haven't set the talk path to, to talk pather, uh, to talk the game show talk and um, Pathfinder stuff. Um, yeah, it's that could be it, but not not to not to throw shade at the Pathfinder D and D community, but there are a lot of black spots in this whole community. Of, mm -hmm. of gameplay and that's okay black spots they happen they're everywhere not gonna happen here though we will nip it in the bud because we don't like them yeah we don't we just don't need that shit what the hell does jobby mean what i don't know either but still <laughs> pretty sure it's a perverted question I don't know. Uh, okay. People so... don't know how to talk nice, <laughs> mm -hmm. apparently. So I'm I'm just not gonna tolerate it. Like, I will. I would prefer doing timeouts first, shy, before insta bans. Yeah. Just because sometimes people. Well, you said it banned the person, so. It um timeouts always they bans their ban a timeout is a ban for like it's five ten. Ban. Yeah. It, it'll always show up as a ban. Um, okay. So don't worry about that. It's. Um, I'm sure that we'll let you know if we completely like perma ban somebody. Um, but yeah, if I can get Shy Baby and Dragon into the App Twenty site. Um, I I I need the uh, link again. Yeah, it's in the it's in the Pathfinder page. Um, Discord Pathfinder okay. Discord. I gotta remake my Roll20 because I can't remember my old account from way back when I played. No worries. So while you two do that, I think it's time for us to kind of get along and get ourselves going a little bit. Wouldn't you say? A little bit. <laughs> Maybe. I Maybe. think so. I don't know. Okay, so for those just joining us and those just starting us along... The game is going to start in a little town called Rakshar. Rakshar! And... We kill all Rakshar. the cows. <laughs> and this town is famous for the Elder Roots production line mm -hmm. of creating these, these wonderful pieces of wood that can be harvested and converted into uh, materials that are almost as strong as iron. It's a nice natural way of handling it, and it's a really good way of dealing with on metal stuff. Uh, the town is mm -hmm. famous for this. They they've gone they go into the swamps. They usually send like five or six people as like harvester groups so that they're safe and there's safety in numbers. They'll usually send these people into the swamp to gather up this wood and bring it back and then other people in the village and town will turn it into other things. And for travelers, one of the famous places to go is the Floating Tavern. And the reason it is called the Floating Tavern is because as you go into Rakshar, the ground sort of turns into wooden planks because it's next to a swamp, and next to swamp are rivers and lakes. And I got, I got a phone call. Okay. Sorry, right, no worries. And the, the rivers and planks kind of go through the town. And so these wooden planks essentially become docks. And the floating tavern is built 
in the middle of one of the big lakes that is mm-hmm. just on the edge of the swamp. And there's a pathway that that as you go in deeper, these more buildings are floating on the lakes. And eventually, it completely crosses the lake. It acts as sort of a bridge to go from from one side of the lake to the other, and the bridge ends on the inside of the swamp. So... Why do I see something in the corner? What corner? Top corner. Top um, left. Um... It's talking about the uh, roll 20. I yes, I am. I don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> Like, unless you're looking at turn order. No, no, no. There's a bit of map that's visible. And we see, like... There's two green guys. I think to- they're totally goblins. Totally not goblins. I don't... I don't see anything. Um, Upper left. Okay. We're just seeing things, then. You guys might just <laughs> Apparently. Be seeing, you guys might just be seeing things, because uh, if you look at... I'm having visions. <laughs> and the joke's on you. There are no goblins. Um... Well, they're little green men then from uh, Buzz Lightyear Stark Man. <laughs> that, that is weird because there's nothing there for me. Um, there is. Top left corner. Anyways. Anyways. I mean, um, I can show you on my stream and I, I have could. proof. You probably could, but I don't see anything on my end. It's like, I, I have, I can see him too. So. I think we have enough arrows pointing at it, guys. There. <laughs> We have a brand new page. There shouldn't be anything on it. There still is. Why? <laughs> oh, roll twenty. We're still staring at it. I, I mean, are this you guys, is... are you guys, you guys drawing on this? Because I don't. Yes. What? They've no. They've drawn plenty on it. I, I have no clue what's going on anymore. I don't like. Wait, there... I want to draw on it. Wait, wait. Okay, we good. Wait. What page are you guys on? What is this? I don't, I don't know. know. I haven't used roll twenty. I can make my uh, my uh, paintbrush. <laughs> Should I make a thin or I, I'm gonna, I'm going extra large? Ooh, I don't. There. I mean, the <laughs> thing is, is I don't even see you guys drawing anything on this. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, so. Apparently, Thrygig, it's, it's been drawn on. Yeah, I can. It, it's li- literally <laughs> right there, but I haven't pulled up. I haven't pulled up Roll Twenty yet because I'm still working on character stuff, <laughs> and I don't want to show off all of that to everybody. No one needs to know what my entire character sheet is just yeah, yet. You're on the home page. Where do I go? Um, if you are on the Rule 20, you need to make a website, or need, not make a website, you need to make an account, log in, and then oh, click, click the link that I posted in the Pathfinder, um, chat. And then there will, should be a big button that says join game. Mm-hmm. Relatively simple, hopefully. Yeah. We, we we try for oh. simplicity's sake. Oh, I see what page you guys are on. You're not supposed <laughs> to be on this page. Like Really? This you don't a, say. This was a page that I had for testing. Um, how do I get you guys off of oh. that page? You have to change it over <laughs> to a different one. Ow. God damn Who's it. ruining my green sheet? I'm pissed off. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> hey, we got Shy Baby in here now. <laughs> Well, this is what happens, Kino. You it's, gotta it's get testing. Used to it. No, no, no. It's it's the testing testing phase. Um, how do we? The testing phase them? is broken. <laughs> hmm. I need to figure out how to send you guys here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should try and fix it. I well, okay. Wow. <laughs> that is totally driving. I'm not the one writing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't like the Harambe meme. Dig so for Harambe! <laughs> oh my god. You're the shy baby. <laughs> okay, Dying. guys, can you just please stop? Please. I'm censoring. Please, guys. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> trying to figure out how to get you guys. Enjoy this. Right. We'll just do this. Um. Okay, what are we going with here? Whoa, okay, that works. Yeah, since I can't figure out how to get off of this, uh, we're just gonna do this. Or, no, what's that? Whoa. Oh, you really? moved something. There we go. Here we go. There's things happening. Yeah, there you deleted we go. the map. Yeah, that's but the... we still have the character models in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still have white in the corner. Oh, I think. Well, yeah, the, no, the white is the background. Um, Here we go. Nice. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I want to. I don't know to begin with, so. It's now an entire black screen. Awesome. Like the map is now just a. Oh, now oh. it's white. Oh, you yeah. Can see stuff. Trying Wait, to. You can see things. Trying to Wait, undo. What? Um, undo the bullshit. <laughs> undo the the fog. Uh, undo the fog. So essentially, what it is with the D twenty is the like the drawing area. That's really only going to be for when combat happens, because uh, I realize that trying to make a map for everything. Is really is a bad idea. fucking intensive and tiring. And I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I bet it is, yeah. Um, it's like I was, I, I was working, and that was that was something for a completely different idea for a campaign that you guys were fiddling around with. Um, but I like everything mm -hmm. I've come up with a lot better. So I mean, you guys don't have to get deal with goblins or anything like that. Um, Good. <laughs> I actually Good. feel like I feel like it's gonna be nice and creative and fun. Ah, uh, anyways. Uh, well, that works. Works for me. Yeah. So, <laughs> as as it stands, there are people... Pe um, ah, okay. I gotta get myself back on track with what I was talking about. I was describing Rakshar for you guys. Where there's, there's buildings on the lake. Built on the lake because, essentially, there's the dock. Um, there's, like, the... They, they ran out of land. They, they ran out mm -hmm. of land and they needed an excuse to make a pathway into the swamp. So that they didn't have to walk around the lake constantly. Uh, so they just built on the lake that's there. So there's yeah. there's the floating uh -huh. tavern, which a lot of people will go, a lot of travels will go to because they like it's it's got this nice experience of of rocking about. It's kind of like yes. a boat, um, and it's a really really big place. It's kind of like a three story tavern, and that's where most of you guys are. Uh, Right now, most of you guys are in Rakshar. Actually, all of you guys should be in Rakshar. Um, in some place. And we should. You should be. Um, I'm going to just kind of throw you all into the tavern right now. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yes, great! <laughs> you just, just, boom! All of you, magically in the tavern. Because I say so, and that's where it's going to start. Um, okay, I, works for me. I, I I know exactly what Altine is doing right now. <laughs> he's trying to find a goddamn place to sit because, sure, he's a merman, but he has a much longer tail. He's almost more like a Lamia than a merman. So oh he he takes up a lot of space. So he's trying to find a you know a place to sit. Excuse me, sorry, sorry for the bother. People are, How people many are people kind of back uh, in the face. <laughs> people are kind of giving giving um Altrian, uh, Alton uh, these these strange sidelong looks. Like what is this? What is this this strange person doing? His lower mm -hmm. half is all wrong. <laughs> he looks <laughs> he looks like a snake, and we don't take kindly to snakes around here. There's a lot of them in the right. swamps, and it's a big issue. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely so. Well, while Alton's trying to find a place, there's these little whispers and rumors, uh, and, and whispers and chatters all around the tavern. Um, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Uh, Aaron. I mean, it, it also doesn't help that he has, like, cloudy eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yes, move on. So, Aaron, what are you doing now that you now that Osvin is in this tavern, in the floating, the floating tavern? Floating tavern. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. Is Aaron hearing? Aaron, this? can you hear me? Damn uh -oh. it, Aaron. Fuck. Aaron cannot hear me again. Cannot hear anyone, apparently. Or is he AFK? He might be AFK. He might be. Uh, well, was we he wait. the one who got a phone call? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, was, he had a phone yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's that's, still on that. That's right. Okay, Aaron is still on the phone call. He'll, he'll be back, um, so you may want to talk to somebody else, and I'm still working on my character. Okay. I actually got the right person for once. Fuck. Mm -hmm. my, my absolute bullshit character. So, so, uh, so while, while Alton's kind of trying to find a place, Bruce, what is Byron doing? Uh, he's trying to find a place to pee. Trying to find a place to pee. <laughs> the corner of it. the tavern. <laughs> or, the, no, no, bury at the bar. There's plenty of bottles, so. <laughs> that, is, that is not a place to go to the bathroom. Just well, I mean, if you pay well bottle. enough, I'm pretty sure they would let you. Mm, you're in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Are you gonna, are you gonna, kind of, are you gonna... Go up to somebody and ask for where like a bathroom is, or are you just gonna kind of dance around and and uh, like hope somebody do directs you to it? I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do like a little pee dance where you like got your legs crossed and you're just kind of like looking for help, but you don't ask anyone. So well, while you're <laughs> while you're doing that, this uh, this older gentleman kind of sitting next to you, next sitting at a table next to you is like, "Hey, kid, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I I need to pee." Oh <laughs> uh, well, there's places out back. Usually, places out back. There's a door back by the bar. You always go in there. Dark alleyways. Can, can we make him roll to see if he pisses himself? Mm, no, no, that is no, a good that's point. Stupid. That's let's not. Thank you, smelly socks. Essentially, the 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 older gentleman kind of kind of points you over to where the bathroom is because he uh. You'd really rather not. We're mainly just DMs. chatting as we get things going. Okay, I'll just say, uh, By Byron just says thanks, and then he goes to the bathroom and he uh he does his business. Okay. Just leave it on that note. While you're while you're doing your business, uh, uh, Dredian, what is Lisa doing? Lisa is apparently hitting my mic. Um, <laughs> 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 Lisa is. Well, just slowly meandering. Yeah, it's the just bar. testing. We're just fiddling around with things, guys. So, I mean, mostly it's going to be face cam until I get my character fully set up. Mm -hmm. But you guys enjoy the ambience. Enjoy the random chaos of everybody else. Yeah. So, <laughs> like so you said your Lisa's heading up to the bar. Lisa's meandering around the bar. Around just, the bar. Just around the area in general. Mm-hmm. Well, while and she's is just listening, just listening. Well, mm -hmm. listening. Since, since you're just listening, uh, give me a perception roll. Give me a uh, roll one d twenty plus your perception skill. Okay. Ooh. One d twenty and my perception. You're on here somewhere. Okay, <laughs> it's a four. It is there somewhere. That is yeah. true. Yeah, it'll always be somewhere. D twenty seventeen. Seventeen. So while you're while you're listening, you hear hear these two guys kind of talking, and I've I've been talking socks. <laughs> and you hear these hear these two guys talking. They're kind of I'm more a listening concerned. and building a character right now, so that's why I'm not as chatty. They're 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 talking and having a conversation about how how some people have been going missing. Um. Like, yesterday, there was a group of about five workers that went into the swamp, and they should have been back by now, but they're not. They've, they've been gone for a bit longer than they should, because no one's, none of the workers are supposed to stay in the swamp at night. And they're supposed That's to That's usually kinda, a problem. They're supposed to kind of come back before nightfall, and they're kind of worried, because one of the workers is one of the gentleman's brother. And so, they're kind of close to these people. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have Aaron back now. Aaron's back? back. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And, so, yeah, what's up? To this, Lisa will 
start to listen more in depth for people having gone missing. People haven't gone missing. Not gonna. Uh, we cannot hear you, Aaron. Read people's comments. I will respond to them, socks, but I'm not gonna read them out loud. I don't need to. No offense to you. And apparently, we have issues with Aaron's mic again. Hmm. I oh. I can't hear him. It, it I can't. blipped up. What was that, Aaron? It blipped up. I said test. Oh, there we there go. There we go. Oh, there it is. There we go. We can so, hear him now. Drebian, you're kind of listening for more more people to talk about these things. And as you listen, mm -hmm. a lot of the clamor in the tavern <laughs> is about the swamp. Uh, there's people who have been going missing. A couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the, the groups of people wound up dead uh, for some unknown reason. And only like one or two of the workers came back. Uh, and a lot of the people are worried that this is going to be another case of that where the, the workers yeah. went to the swamp and they're not going to come back. And while you're listening to this, Aaron, what is Osrin doing? Osrin, uh, he'd be uh, probably sitting, terrifying here, sitting at the bar listening in. Osrin is here, he's listening to the bar as well. But while you're listening, you're also hearing this. You're also hearing these people kind of talking about the people going missing. Uh, the bartender is looking very worried for some reason, as well as the rumors kind of get more prominent. It's a problem, usually. Mm -hmm. Just just throwing that out there. Uh, Kino, I have a question. What's up? At the bar, is there like two seats side by side that are both empty? Um, yes. All right, good. It's, it's not very populated. There's a lot of empty seats. Uh, most of the people in the town are kind of just couple of travelers, a couple of weird people. There's a knoll and a, and a sylph sitting at the bar. Um, Which is kind of an odd combination. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to make it a little bit more odd. Um, a... Alton is going to go up to the bar and coil around two stools and sit on both of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying... It's like a sylph sitting at the bar. Are you saying there's a second sylph here? No, 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 no. Um... I was referring to you two. Um, it's, it's like, I'm up walking around, I'm not sitting anywhere. Oh. Okay, well, no, there's a sylph walking around. Um, it's kind of an odd crowd at the bar tonight, yeah. apparently. Essentially, there's an odd crowd at the bar. Uh, it is also kind of morning-ish. Um, Which can make sense. I mean, the morning after, you see them for what they really are. Mm. Um, <laughs> Shy Baby, what is Hesia doing? Sitting in a dark corner drinking while she is keeping an eye on everyone that comes in and out of the bar. She needs to be making some con rolls then for alcohol. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to fiddle about with that right now. Um, so while you're, while, you're yeah, drinking, while, you're, while you're drinking and watching, you see all these strange people. You see Osman, you see Alton and Lisa, and you can hear just like everyone else who's paying attention about all these rumors about people going missing and people bad things are happening with the swamp and that seems to be the consensus that going around everyone's bad shit's worried. going down everyone's Rocks. worried and i want to fall everyone dies mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't even know what's going on yeah bruce has no idea what's going on you see <laughs> you see this elf this this fellow elf of yours kind of just running into the bathroom for some reason. <laughs> um, Greatest way of making an entrance ever. So <laughs> is by leaving. <laughs> is by leaving. <laughs> well, yeah, and... because it draws attention to you a little bit. <laughs> so Thragon, what is Ravish yes. doing? Um, probably tinkering with a bomb in their hand at at their table, and they're staring at it in awe, not paying attention to anyone around them. Not paying attention. Okay, so Ravesh isn't paying attention to anybody, but a lot of people are paying attention to her, and she's definitely getting a lot of glances from people, and and she even gets a uh, the the same old gentleman that Bruce that Byron encountered, kind of nudging her table a little bit, like, "Hey, hey, lass, what the hell are you doing?" This gentleman seems to be very uh, concerned with the elves around here lately. 
<laughs> you know, she's tinkering, I'm tinkling, you know. <laughs> ah. He's he's made it a very big point of nudging the table that you're working on to get your attention. Me? Yes. Me? My character sort of like kicks your leg away and it's like, leave me alone, I'm just having fun. So that looks a bit more like danger than fun. You sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> yes, I know exactly what I'm doing, and as I say that, I accidentally detonate a small explosion. That gets the barkeep's attention. And. Like, the, small as in, like, a little puff of cloud a in my face. A little puff of cloud. <laughs> of smoke. I'm gonna get big from the bar already! And I didn't. You... I didn't set anything on fire. I didn't destroy anything. Yeah. No. 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 It's just a little, little puff of smoke. Cause like the barkeeper is like, Barfight. you, Barfight. watch out there. You, you, you doing that thing over there? You, you stop that. You stop that. I, I'll, I'll work on it. I mean, it was just a little too much gunpowder. Well, <laughs> well, be careful over there. I, you, I can't afford to have you sinking the ship. <laughs> okay, we'll do. As I add more gunpowder. Oh god! <laughs> the, the barkeeper just kind of puts her puts their their hand on his on his face and is just like, "Oh god, no, not again! <laughs> not again! <laughs> a classic! It, it, Adventurers in a bar! Adventurers in a bar! Okay. When you get this many weird people in one place, I mean, shit goes down. I I mean if. Sylphs tend to have um, a breeze with them, so if I just walk past and blow some gunpowder all over the place... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that could be a problem. Okay. Don't accidentally blow it up again. Well, <laughs> fine. So, the wall... We'll throw, we'll, we'll, I, I have to remember your guys' names. There's so many of you. Um, well, Ravesh is, is having some issues with her, her tinkering and... The rest of you are listening because no one's doing anything. Uh, Bruce, not yet. <laughs> you're done tinkling. What are you doing now? Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't wash my hands. Let's, let's start with that. Wow, dude. <laughs> I walk walk out the bathroom and then uh, hmm. Wow. I'm just kind of at this point. I'm just uh just chilling, hanging out, you know. Hmm. Just gonna kind of, kind of sit there and listen again, like everyone. Which, by the way, guys, you can uh, change your display name. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've changed it to Alton, so Kino can look there for my name. Yes, I would appreciate very much so if that if you guys change your screen name, name to, uh, to your character's name because it'll make it a little tiny bit easier. For there you go. Thank you. Hey, uh, Aaron, I have a question. What's that? Uh, does Osvin have anything to drink? If he uh -oh. does, why? Uh oh. Right, what are you doing? Well, I, I'm just asking out a character. Does he have it? He said yes. Yeah. So, oh, okay. uh, um... uh, in that case, Alton's going to lean over. Do they got anything good to drink around here? <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd look at him with a quizzical brow and then say, How do I don't know. I just got here and ordered some mead. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> I figured. Doesn't Meat's look like good. anybody's from in town. Apparently not. I kind of got that from the stairs. <laughs> the barkeep kind of kind of wraps on the the table and is like, yeah, well, don't really get many strange people like you folks around here. Mostly just humans and elves. Humans and elves <laughs> all the time. Dwarves don't like coming here. We don't like dwarves over here either. What can I get you? Damn, I should have played a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> that would have oh. made things more interesting. Do you, do you got anything that's like... Well, I mean, it's early. Uh, I just want a lot of water. <laughs> I'm a bit parched. <laughs> Mercury kind of gives you a look and is like, you would want a lot of water. And walks off and... <laughs> And it's seen getting you some water. Takes a couple of minutes to get a giant pitcher of water just popped right in front of you. The, the barkeep seen 
ducking out the back door and just scooping water out the <laughs> no, lake. The water, <laughs> water has a very strange taste to it. Ah, local. Local water. <laughs> <laughs> About this time, I'll start picking my teeth with one of my claws. There you go. There you Due go. Do the fact that I've been eating a large sum of beef beforehand. <laughs> uh, you got any salt to add with this? Barbie, you're kind of gives you a look and is like, salt water. Yeah, salt water. <laughs> Do I look like a freshwater fish to you? I don't know. You look like a oh fish God. to me. You look, like a, you look like a fish, like everyone else. Of your kind. Firekeeper doesn't Ooh. seem to be very... very pleasant... today. Well, I mean, he, look at the crowd he kinda has to deal with deal right with. now. Yeah. <laughs> look at these assholes. There, there, there's gunpowder all over the place, I mean... Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't be too happy either. Yeah. He, well, no, it's your gunpowder may... everywhere. <laughs> the barkeep kinda gestures at his palm a little bit, is like, well... Salt isn't free, you know. A couple of copper, uh, maybe. There you go. <laughs> right, right, of course. It isn't as abundant as where I come from. Mm. You could practically swim in it, you say. <laughs> you fish people are weird. <laughs> you do look like a people I'd are at weird. least snork at that pun. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ambience, though. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, Alton is going to uh, toss her a few copper. She'll, she'll, she'll happily take some in a couple of minutes. She sees that she's got a couple, like a... Kind of like five ounces of salt. And kind of just pops it right next to your water. Not thinking that you're going to mix it into the drink. Oh, that's exactly what Alton does. And at this point, Rivesh had an epiphany, doesn't say anything, jumps up out of their chair, runs up to the bar, and flips a gold coin at the barkeep. Thank you! And then runs back to her chair. Barkeep is taken aback by this strange elf and kind of pockets the gold because... Uh, gold. Free gold! gold. <laughs> free gold! Why not? <laughs> you can't be mad at free gold. The, uh, the... No, no you can't. The townsfolk... Unless you're a dragon. You need to be mad that it's not platinum. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ravesh is still getting a couple of really, really odd looks from people. Uh, what are the rest of you folks doing? My character does too much. So, uh, we got Byron and Lisa and Hesia. What are you three doing? <laughs> Lisa is wondering what this person who just tried to blow themselves up is trying to do. <laughs> and is walking a bit closer to them than other people. Trying to hear if they're mumbling under their breath or anything. They might be. <laughs> might want to, uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... I'm just over here. I, I uh... Uh, I'm just I'm just chatting with Hesse at this point, just chatting her up, you know, getting to, getting to know her. Well, you don't wanna. So you're talking with Hesse? Yep. What are you saying to Hesse? Because Hesse is Shy Baby's character, and you kind of, if you guys want to have, if you guys want to talk, you gotta talk. Oh, we gotta we gotta talk. You gotta actually. You have talk. to actually talk. Ah, I can't because. Okay. <laughs> One of the big rules of Pathfinder is I don't fully take control of your characters. Your characters you to... are... Your actions are sacred to you. The reactions and the consequences of those actions are at my whim. Is what he deals. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, if, I got you. So if you're going to talk to Hesia, you gotta talk to Hesia. So Hesia, where, where are you from? You don't know her name. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, you haven't asked that. You don't know anyone's name. What's your name, fellow elf? 
Shay. Shay, baby? Is Shay around? Hestius is going to stare at him for, like, not washing his hands, and I'll be a little bit disgusted at him, and be like... You don't know, I, um... Is... That's is... Well, obviously, she can tell with her elven perception, those hands have not been washed. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Well, just saying, I mean... Mm. I mean, we're also in a it's swamp. From my True. It's, it's it's kind of a mess, regardless. <laughs> Not wrong. So, so Bruce, it looks like Bruce is getting the cold shoulder from Hesia. <laughs> I think I'll just uh, I I walk away with my head down, just kind of stooping, <laughs> just walking away. You know, a little sad. Sad sap. Yeah. Aww. He's a sad Aww. sap. Well, while, while you're being sad and, and feeling a bit dejected, <laughs> you hear that there's there's kind of a commotion going on. That some of the... you All of you notice that some people are starting to leave the tavern in a hurry. And there's this, this commotion going on outside. Uh-oh. <laughs> Like even even the barkeep is kind of keeping an eye on you guys, but also edging their her way to the door to go see what's going on. Um. Wow. Looks like there's something going on outside. Where do I came here to do? Uh, Alton just takes the pitcher of salt water and dunks it on his um, serpentine lower half. Ah, much better. <laughs> nice good salt water, and then he's gonna start <laughs> slithering on out at a reasonable at a reasonable pace, because that's all he can manage. Because <laughs> he got no legs. <laughs> and being interested in what's going on, I pick up my large blade and rush for the re really rush for the door, leapfrogging ever leapfrogging ever people I have to. Mm. Alton just mutters, "Go off." <laughs> For, for you new guys, I highly advise going to investigate. Hey, Lacey. This is where the plot is. This is where the plot is, and... So now I, I have Lisa just leave the town, right? I mean, if you want to write yourself out of the campaign. It's like, just sneak out the back door. And, and Lisa uh, was never character. heard from again. New character. Yeah. No. Lisa... Started leaving when the first few people started leaving in a hurry. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Yes. I are Hesia and uh, Byron and um, and Ravesh. Are you guys gonna leave? Because it's. The, the, the commotion going on is so loud, and the group of people leaving is loud enough to be noticeable to even to Ravesh, even though you're kind of. Hey, Blubber! Welcome on in. Like, you noticed um, that people were leaving while you were coming back from giving the gold to the barkeep. Um, Rivesh notices that people are leaving and that there's sound outside and it might be exciting and goes running out the door. Okay. The bomb is still on the table. Oh, no. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Being the, the brave elf I am, I'm going to go carefully pick up that bomb and, and run And as soon as he picks it up, it blows up because <laughs> if you touch it, <laughs> oh, it was... Oh, God. You had to have very, very subtle hands. Now what about the bomb that's everywhere? So, uh, what exploded and does he need the roll damage? Yes, he does. Okay, what? It was, it was just a little mini damage. bomb, so, so it uh, it'll only do like one damage to him. Okay, so uh, so Byron, you need it, to uh. It was just like a really tiny bomb that she was fiddling with. So, the bomb does it go off the moment that he touches it, or a couple of moments afterward? A couple of moments afterwards, because it actually like kickstarts the reaction inside the bomb. Okay. Instead of taking damage, Byron, roll me a reflex. I'm just save. on the West Coast, Blubber. I, I, I'd rather not say state right now. Um, reflex save is going to be 1d20 plus. And if you get the reflex save, you sort of throw it and it blows <clears> up <throat> in midair and doesn't damage anything else. Yeah, let's look at your Wait, page. How do I uh, reflex, roll? Your reflex save is going to be 1d20 plus 6, and you're going to want to do a slash roll. 
Um, <coughs> I'm actually going to swap my, myself off of game talk shows and put it on D&D now. Yeah. It's going to be... Uh, I think that's... Do a slash and just roll, like, 1d20. And with your reflex, it's going to be a plus 6. So, I mean... 17. There you go. Okay, so you just kind of just kind of throw the bomb, and as you throw it, it kind of just explodes in the air. Let's see if... Because it... you realize that you touched it, and it started making noise. And you you saw that it exploded, and it puffed out smoke a bit ago, so you're just like, oh god. And it just kind of explodes right in front of you. Nope. But you... <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to help. You're okay. <laughs> uh, and, you did and... keep it from exploding on the table, though. So, yes. All well, I mean, if he wouldn't have touched it, it wouldn't have blown up. <laughs> Did he keep it from igniting the rest of the gunpowder that was blown everywhere? Uh, no, it's just, there's just kind of, like, powder and This, this is a swamp. Everywhere. Everything is damp. Yeah, everything's <laughs> damp. You're not gonna really light a fire from it. Um, yeah, probably not. So, Hesia, did you go outside as well? Uh, yeah, Hesia's gonna get up and just, um, quickly walk past Mr. Blow-Up Bomb Man. <laughs> 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 and try not to bump into anyone or anything as she walks outside and sees, looks around to see what's going on. Wait, so mm -hmm. Af after all of this, Alton is almost outside of the bar. Slithering. <laughs> 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 if oh. we were in, if we were in water, I'd show you all what for. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of makes sense. So, so as you guys kind of leave the tavern you realize that there's kind of groups of people helping other people there's little boats on the lake and there's a couple of people in the boats watching what's going on and you see these two guys um one is a human and the other is a half elf and they're so humans yes they're they're dragging a third uh a third woman with them this woman is unconscious and while they're dragging this person, there are a couple of people coming over to help, and there's like people are wondering what's going on, and you can you can um, you can see that the two people that are not unconscious are very disheveled. Uh, their clothing's kind of torn. Uh, one of them's got well, one of them looks really hurt. His arm is kind of there's a slash mark on his arm, and it's very very apparent that these guys have not had a good time. Uh, well, and, obviously, I mean, look at them. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think we need a perception check for that one. No. As really, they're as missing these guys leg. are usually doesn't. Happen. <laughs> as these guys are kind of trying to drag themselves up, and a couple of people are helping around, you guys see this short, stout, burly man, kind of, kind of waddling, stoutly walking through the crowd, and going, "Make way! Make way!" What? What happened here? What's what's going on? What's going on? And um, how close are you guys to um the people that are being dragged? Are you guys making? Are you guys keeping your distance? Or are you guys trying to get? As I'm close I'm as possible? I'm trying to get like right up in front because I want to see what's going on. Um, Alton is in the back because I kind of uh climbed over people to do it. Oh God. Oh yeah, that's right. Osmond is a giant with seven, being seven foot eight. A lot of you people are giants, by the way. My character's five seven. Uh, I I'm think, only six foot. That's not tall. I think. I think. Uh, I think Dragon's character is the shortest. Actually, I like being the shortest character five, for a five. reason. You're five five. Cool. Okay, so some awesome. of the elves, some of the elves are smaller. Uh, um, Alton is technically tall. Because he's long, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and he uses he, he uses his serpentine tail. To look over the crowd. Question: How far away are the wounded people? Um, <laughs> is he bit there yet? The, what, the, like in feet. Uh, in feet. So they'd probably be about 15, 15 feet uh, away. Okay, good. He can see them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. They've, they've. 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 With the group that's gathering and the people that are helping carry this unconscious woman, um, they're getting far. They're kind of getting close, and, um. The burly man, as he walks through and pushes his way through the crowd, uh, you see him give most of you people glances. Uh, he doesn't pay any uh, any of the elves any mind, but he sees Osvin and he sees uh, Alton and um, and Lisa, and he notices those three, 
and gives him a sidelong glance before turning to a more pressing Sir matter Barrington. at hand. Yes. <laughs> give him a rude gesture. Sir Barrington. Uh, no, it, it, that's a whole story online, and it's one of the best D&D stories ever. It's oh, a pretty God. good story. Oh god, I've never. Oh, I don't that's, think I've... that's digressing. Digression. And yeah. Yeah, sorry. Back Somebody mentioned it in my chat. I had to respond. No worries. Good uh, so, so as these, as as the mayor is kind of coming along, these people, um, he starts talking with them. Uh, what are you guys gonna do? The mayor is talking with the injured people, and some of you guys are watching. Some of you guys are trying to get close. What are you guys doing? Alton's going to stop um, towering over people because he's seen what he needs to see, and he's going to address the closest townsperson near him. Are those the uh, missing people I kept hearing about? The the guy next to you is kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's it's them. It's them, all right. Nice. But that's, it's not all of them. There were that's five of them. Thinking. There were five of them that went out yesterday, and... I mean, oh boy. Only three of them now, and it seems that Julia is kind of seen better worse, days. Worse than where. Yeah. <laughs> it, the townspeople do not look happy. A lot of them seem concerned and scared. Alton is going to, as politely as possible, try to make his way to the mayor. Not not pushing anybody or anything. It, you you make you do make. Excuse me. You make your way there relatively decent amount of time. Somebody accidentally steps on your tail. Uh, but while you're while you're walking, it's pretty pretty easy for you to get through the crowd. They're not it's not a big crowd. It's not a very populated town. Um Well that's good. Especially with the fact that the docks are kind of it's really difficult to move around and gather around and people are making their way. They're making room for people trying to get to the injured people and to get the injured people out of there. <coughs> Uh, so, what are the rest of you guys doing? While while Alton's making his way to the mayor, how about the rest of you guys? Lisa will uh, look to see <laughs> if the one guy whose brother went missing is in the crowd. You don't know what his brother looks like. No, the one oh. that was in the bar. Oh, he oh, said his oh. brother went missing. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, he is. He is. He's a couple people away from you. Lisa will try to make her way over to him. Okay, it's pretty easy. People are making making room for you, just like they're making. Still room working for on my character, light. So, uh, what are you gonna do when you when you make it over to this guy? What are you gonna do? Lisa is going to softly ask if one of those three was his brother. Uh, he he nods. He's like, yeah, yeah, the. The uh, the beat up guy, the human. He's he's my brother. I'm glad to see he's all right, but I'm... well, he's still kind of fucked up. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be in <laughs> good shape. Don't think he's gonna. I don't think I'm gonna let him go back into the swamp again. Lisa will ask him if what he was doing out in the swamp, anyways. Uh, they're they were gathering other roots. Don't you don't you know about what we do here? The swamp is full of it, and it's it's plentiful. The stuff just grows back. If well, as long as we don't chop down the trees, the stuff just kind of grows back, and we can harvest more and more of it. There's something strange about the lands. I think it's magic. It's always magic Jeez. around these places. Lisa will ask if hmm. at night they ever see anything strange out over the swamp, I, like lights or anything. I try not to be out at night. He's he's not gonna really talk to you much about the night. He kind of clams up upon hearing that. Hmm. Lisa will just end <laughs> with asking if it's not safe at night, even in the village. Um, if you'll answer. It's let's just say it's not safe at night. If you if you have a way of staying in, stay in. Probably a good idea. All right. Lisa wishes him and his brother well and drifts back into the crowd. He he thanks he thanks the strange strange self woman, and of that what are the rest of you guys doing? Osvin. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, Byron, what are you doing? 
So Byron here, he, since he was peeing, he has he really has no idea what's going on. So he looks to the he looks uh, next to him. He's like, uh, "Can someone tell me what's going on here? I'm a, I'm a little confused." Well, those are the, the person next to you. Kind of gives you a glance, and he sees that you're kind of. Uh, I think you might be a little dim. Um, <laughs> I think you might, oh he thinks you might just be a little dim. And he's like, "Boy." You best not be dealing with the swamp. That's dangerous things. These men, they, they they go out and harvest, and lately it's been just a very, very shitty time for them. Uh, good, good, good language there. He's a he's a very, very old gentleman. It's kind of the you, well, you're not sure, but he might be the same gentleman that pointed you to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> and he kind of is just like doesn't think you're right in the head. That Okay, that that's awesome. Let's <laughs> not be I, I thinking like about that. dealing anything in there, especially if you can't find the fucking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I just shut up and uh, just continue watching the scene. <laughs> I feel like we have a running gag all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Probably a good idea there. All right, Sorry. so, uh, hey, baby, um, what does Hesse doing? Hey, Kino, we yeah. got Rave Hunter back in my chat. He's finally back. Nice. He was well, one of the ones that wanted the campaign, too. Ah, uh, um. But he went MIA forever. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're already in it and everything, I know, not... I know. Yeah. Yes, I know. Because we've also know. only got we got six people already. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that more, that much more. Uh, anyways, uh, Hesia, what is Hesia <sighs> doing in the crowd? Okay, this... Hey, he was standing closer to the building just listening in three. but um decided to make her way forward so she could uh listen in on all the whispering and the mumbling that everyone was doing to and try to help them get the injured up into the bar so you're gonna go directly to them to help them to help the injured people yes okay uh, while you do that, and the mayor, uh, some people kind of get, um, some people kind of push you aside, and you, you do hear the conversation that Drebian has about the brother, um, being there, and not being missing, and, uh, you do hear that in passing while walking to the people, and, um, the mayor kind of gives you a look when you walk up to them, and it's like, who are you? That's you, don't not look, good you don't look like you're from here. Me? Yes. The mayor is directly talking to Hesia because you, you, you're the first one essentially to get there, and to offer and to try and help. And he's kind of giving, he's kind of holding you aside, like not actually touching you, but kind of standing in between you and the the workers. Is like. Then who are you, lass? You don't look like you're from here. And she's gonna look down and pat him on the head as she walks around him and says, um, I'm just passing through and I'm trying to be of help. Oh, well, there's a couple of things better that you could do than than be of help here. We've 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 got it here. Uh, please don't don't pat me like a dog. I'm the mayor here, for fuck's sake. And he kind of he kind of makes a motion to kind of grab grab your hand a little bit to kind of keep you from the workers because the mayor knows the mayor knows everybody here, and he doesn't know you. Can you give me your name, lass, before I let you help out my brothers? I don't know what you're keen on. She sighs, grumbling as she rolls her eyes. The name's Hestia. Okay, Hestia. Well, why are you here? 
<laughs> I know you want to. Heart. I know you want to help, but we've got it. There might be some other things we could have you do if you want to talk to me a little later, but right sure. now we've got a bit of an issue, and it has to do with the fact that our brothers and sisters keep going missing. I'm not too happy about it. Probably not. By now, Alton is just kind of standing there, politely waiting for the conversation to finish. Mm -hmm. But he's up there with the mayor. Uh, yeah. Before we His continue, is where is Osvin? What is Osvin doing? Because I know that we haven't, uh, Aaron hasn't been had a chance to talk or interject yet. Uh, uh, at the moment, he's getting as near to the as near to the injured man as he can, sniffing the air. He's wanting to see if he can get a scent on what might have uh, happened to him. Um, that might require a roll. Possibly. That'd be like a perception, I would think. Yeah, yeah perception. That, yeah. It's smell. Yeah, I would say give me a perception roll. Let me, see, let me see if I can find freaking perception in here, anywhere on here. Uh, your perception is going to be under your skills on your page. Uh, you have second page. Yeah, on the second page, you have a plus one to your perception right now. So it would be a one d twenty plus one. All right. <clears throat> 14. Okay. So so from that you're you're close enough to smell the fact that the uh the blood on his arm is a bit dried. It's not a fresh wound. Uh, and the injury it's it kind of looks like it's been roughly patched together. And all you can really tell is that it's it's a cut. It's like it's kind of like a deep gash in the arm. Um that kind of occurred maybe about yesterday. Sometime yesterday, uh, it was. It is not really fresh. fresh. Spellcraft. But what he's trying to smell for is if there's the something something that um, attacked that close would have to have left a scent on him. Mm -hmm. At least to, that would have at least lasted a day. Is all he able you to smell that? all you can smell is just the fact that it's it's kind of dried blood. Whatever was there isn't. There's not enough of it there anymore to smell it. But you can tell that it's kind of that it's it's an older wound. Crowd. I I also uh, take a moment to uh, kind of ironic that the mayor won't the mayor won't let um, her, <laughs> her get too close. But it's perfectly all right with a null. Well, here's for the, the thing: the, you don't necessarily say no to a null. <laughs> but yeah, this is true. Yeah. So the mayor has been has noticed you, and has been keeping an eye on you, and kind of starts to stammer a bit when he sees that you're getting closer, the getting that Osrin is getting closer, <laughs> and it's like, ah, it, excuse me, sir, can you can you not, please? <laughs> can you not? Can you? Why? What? What do you want? Up at my full height and just stared down at him, just like, <laughs> almost glowering on those, just because I enjoy the fact that I can make people afraid of me, and just say, "I'm trying to learn more about his wound." Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I, um, um, the, the the mayor is not. He is. You don't even need to roll like an intimidation check to see that. <laughs> He's very intimidated. He is a five foot four, stout, heavy man, and he you're towering. You're you're towering over him, and a little bit. The man, bit. uh, the man next to him, the man that's got the injury, gives you a look, and he looks like he's been through hell. He look his eyes of his eyes are kind of just filled with rage and anger, and it's like. Look, buddy. I don't know what the fuck attacked me in there. 
But it killed my friend. If you want to go in there and find it and kill it for me, by all means. I don't know what the fuck it was. And he is not really going to say anything. He's going to attend back to uh, to the woman and the other guy that's she, that they're trying to help. And um, Bruce needs to be right back. So while, while Bruce is doing that and while these guys are... Seeming to be grumpy at Osrin. What is what is your response to that? I heft my sword and let it rest on my shoulders for a minute. Say, <laughs> yeah, I'd be glad to go in there and kill that thing for you. That that perks the mayor up a bit. He's like, oh really, really you you want to go into the swamp and, and figure out what the hell's going on for us? We can we can pay you. In fact. Actually, I don't advise going in there alone. Actually, now that I think of it, do you have friends? <laughs> as much as, as much as you uh, could probably handle yourself. Um, I think. Ex excuse me, sir. Hmm? Excuse me. What? Ah! What, oh. is, what, are, what are you? What? Oh. What are oh. you? I, I am a merman. I come from the sea. Um, my name is Alton, and I too uh, have some interest in going into the swamp. Uh, mayhaps not necessarily to uh, kill whatever is the problem, but uh, should I be paid, I would be happy to be of assistance as well. Oh, by by all means, if we we'll, we will we'll pay you all. I uh, will pay both of you. I mean, he he kind of he kind of turns to the crowd and. And suddenly starts to shout, uh, if there are anyone else, any other volunteers to, to go into the swamp and, and deal and figure out what the hell is going on here. <laughs> By all means, please, step forward. Rivesh comes running right up in front of the mayor and says, I'll, glad, I'll gladly help. And yeah. then starts juggling a few small bombs. Yeah, hand, please, so. please stop that. <laughs> the mayor. I don't know what this dude's problem is with Elv. The mayor is a very jumpy man right now. Like, he's, he's... my character runs so close and gets right into his face within an inch of his face, staring into his eyes and says, "I'll help." By by all means, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, you'll help. Please, 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 back up, back away, please. Wait, 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 so... And uh, seeing how jumpy he is, just for the fun of it, I crouch down behind him and just. Bark as loud as I can. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Make this a good. make a reflex save. <laughs> um. Make a reflex or no 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 wait 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 make an make an accurate um. Hold on, hold on. I know that there's a skill because you're juggling things, right? Yep, sleight of hand would probably be what you're looking uh, for. Sleight of hand would probably fit. Yeah, make a make a sleight of hand check. I have a plus eight to that. Make a high roll. I'm behind the mayor, not him. Oh, you're behind <laughs> the mayor. Oh, um, make the sleight of yeah, hand so check I would see still. That. Yeah, make the sleight of hand yeah. check still, so that you can keep your um composure. The mayor, however, <laughs> let's let's have your roll first. We're gonna well, I got to I gotta find the uh, where I do the dice rolls. It's been too fucking long since I've done this. Mm -hmm. You can just do slash roll. Um, okay. Slash roll and then the d twenty plus the boost. I got it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, that is a bad thing. Wow. Okay. That so... is bad. <laughs> Um, that is bad. That is bad. You're gonna drop the bomb. You were, three bombs in hand. You were juggling your. You were juggling three potions. Three bombs. Yes. Three. Three. Three small bombs. Okay. Now they're small. So uh. One falls on the head and blows up. Um. You. God damn it. You catch one. But the other two. I squeeze it too hard. You. You laugh. So hard. That you hold the one in your hand that you caught, because you had one in your hand before the bark, and the mayor almost jumps out of his feet from the bark. He he you looks shaken. 
Uh, no, I mean feet. Um, okay. <laughs> he looks shaken, and his eyes are wide, <laughs> and he lets out a yip, and this causes you to just burst up. You burst up laughing. The two potions you threw into the air, they fall, and they explode at your feet. One lands on your foot. Um... You take you take a damage from this as Ow. the pity damage. <laughs> you take <laughs> you take one damage from this as it blows up on your foot, and the other bomb just kind of <laughs> blows up right in front of you, and you're just bursting up because you find. And, and this my character keeps hilarious. laughing even harder. My character keeps laughing even harder after that happens, even from pain, because my ca my character and also me, I laugh through pain. The mayor is very disturbed, <laughs> and he fuck. I and he very much makes it a point to uh to avoid to 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 move away from Oswald <laughs> and you and and Alton because Alton is a scary looking fish. I and... am not. I'm very pretty. <laughs> I'm like Ariel. Oh my god. What a man. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Nonetheless, the mayor is not accustomed to any of your kind. Uh, the crazy, the knoll, or the fish. And he... What? I'm not crazy. He, he idly... He, he, he calls again. Is there a... Is there a... Anyone... Anyone else who'd like to, uh... Come help. Please. Lisa will softly come up b beside the mayor and say, and reassuringly say that the group of us can get it done and that he shouldn't have to worry about explosions going off in his village. Yes, please, please, keep in... Ideally, they'll be outside the village. Keep an eye on these people, <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, so that just leaves, um, Hesia and Byron. Okay, okay, uh, so Byron, he's just gonna kinda walk through the crowd slowly up to the mayor, and just be like, uh, I'll help, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Your, uh, <laughs> your confidence is overwhelming. Are you sure yeah, you wanna do this, lad? You look a bit- Um, you know, I'm- I I really need this. I'm an I'm an adrenaline junkie, and uh, I'm ready to go. I might not sound excited, but uh, uh, I'm a little uh, behind on my sleep. So okay, as long as you're sure, lad. I'm not. I'm, yep. As long as you're sure, the mayor doesn't <laughs> seem too impressed by you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone is. <laughs> yeah, right. No one is. I'm... Yeah, yeah. Alta's just kind of like leaning over to Osvin. <laughs> How long do you give him? <laughs> Rick, um, so I'll has give him more than a few minutes. If one of us doesn't end up killing him, killing him by accident ourselves. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, but there's the guy with the bombs. I can hear you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I called it an accident. I use literal air quote fingers. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, just throwing this out there, guys, I do have eight bombs per day. And now you have five. No, no, no. Those were just tiny little those... makeshift ones. That okay. was those are role-play bombs. Okay. Those, okay. Are, those are, I'm just fiddling with, you know, alchemy ingredients and making small mini explosions. If it was actual bombs, I would have killed the crowd with those three bombs blowing up. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, what a... oh, um... <laughs> That just leaves Hesia. How do you respond to all of this? First of all, I want to bonk um, Ravish in the head for scaring the mayor. <laughs> I think it's Ravish. I didn't scare the mayor. Ravish. Which other one of you scared the mayor? Uh, Osvin. Oh, Osvin. The giant knoll. <laughs> okay. If I can reach his head. <laughs> um... Lean down, please. Might need to. You might need to jump for that. Hey, come here, down here, come here. <laughs> um, I'll just step forward and with the rest of them and nod, giving giving him a bow, saying, 
I'll help, and hopefully none of these idiots will kill themselves in the process. Oh god. <laughs> Usually. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. Alright, so... With with six people, the mayor's a bit more, uh... more confident in... the fact that maybe most of you will come back. He gives Byron the better look. Um... But <laughs> 80% chance success rate of coming back. He, uh, Good odds. He even... He, There's he, those the mayor thinks will come back, and then those the mayor wishes won't come back. Yes. Oh, God. Pretty much. Uh, the, mayor, the mayor shuffles in his pockets and idly gives Byron a little little vial. It's like, here, lad, you're, you look like you're gonna need this. And it's uh, a small healing potion. The mayor is not very confident in you, Byron, and hey. thinks that you're not going to last. Pity uh, potion. Yay. The potion's going to just be a 1d4, so just mark that in your inventory. Um, Wait, what do I mark down? <laughs> uh, in your inventory, just put healing potion for 1d4. Um, and he, he, he looks at this ragtag bunch of in individuals... And is very, very hesitant on on this. And he turns he turns to the injured man great. and essentially asks, uh Jonathan, is there anything that these uh these fellows need to know before they go? And and Jonathan's kinda like, Yeah, well we were a bit uh you're not going to be happy about this, sir, but we were a bit past the marked points. Uh, some of the trees have been looking a bit... a bit better, and we wanted to see if we could maybe extend our reach a little bit. So we were past the marked points. So if you... if, 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 if these folks kind of just go... go due east into the forest, just keep going straight, uh, we made sure to not venture too far off the path. They'll... They'll find the bodies, I'm sure. And with that, the mayor is like... The mayor looks not happy. Because at the mention of bodies, it means that there are dead people. There are people who have died. And... He looks at the group and is like, well... You heard him. We mark the trees with little red tags, little 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 bits of cloth to to kind of give the safe zone. So apparently these guys thought that it would be smart to venture out of the safe zone. That's never a good idea. <laughs> if and you, you would know that. <laughs> I'm not saying that in character. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh and so if you could just try to be back before dark, it's not going to be much of a long travel before reaching the edge of the safe zone. But the swamp is dangerous at night. I don't advise staying longer than the day. Usually not. And with that, the crowd kind of starts to disperse. Uh, the mayor puts most of his attention to the injured folk. And you guys are kind of left to your own devices now. Cool. So All right. You you are now officially a group of people. No, 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 no. We're not a group yet. Greetings, all. My name is Alton Silverfin. Do not be fooled by the uh, black tail. Um, I come from the Silverfin line. Lies. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me, that was quite rude. Don't care! Lies! <laughs> is a bloodline curse that I do not have a silver fin. You still lied. <laughs> oh, boy. You can think whatever you want, but what I say I is I will think what I true. want, and the fact is, of the matter is you lied. About you what? said you had a silver fin, you no, have no, a no, black no. fin. I am Alton Silverfin. It is a name. <laughs> I don't care. Your name is a lie, then. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you may have a point there, but that is not a philosophical discussion that I Don't would care. Do. You still lied. <laughs> oh my goodness. How about the rest of you folk? How do you guys respond to Alton? And and Ravesh and Ravesh being um, very antagonistic at this point. For uh, some reason. <laughs> uh, my, my name is Byron, guys. You smell of piss. <laughs> God. Um I think it's the swamp. No, nope, pretty sure it's you. Nah, it's, it's the swamp. All the way over here. <laughs> oh boy. Thanks for the that makes my nose wanna bleed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a small bladder, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I could solve that for you. I have this little potion that might help. It also Fine. might kill you, so No thanks. I'm good. You sure? I mean, yeah, if, yeah. It, if it fixes it, I mean, you won't have that problem anymore. <laughs> Either way, it'll fix the problem. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> what are the odds of survival here? <laughs> yeah, you're looking at about 30, 70, 30 chance of survival, 70% chance of, you know, exploding in your gut. I think I'm good. I'll pass. Well, awesome. I think that's pretty good odds, honestly. Everyone's character sheet now. I, th I don't have everything completely done, it's just the other things will be things I work on, and I'm not going to really utilize them anyways for the moment. <sighs> In any case, it is a pleasure to meet you, Byron. <laughs> uh, smell or otherwise. <laughs> smell. Uh, <laughs> thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone else? Playing? I'm right back to the saddle. I like bombs. I like explosions. Hi, nice to meet you all. <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> and all you need to know is I'm just here to kill thing. You're here to kill things? Are you gonna make them go exploding in blood? This, maybe? That'd be fun. I know it would, but I ain't got that kind of acumen. I'm guessing Why not? Your everything, sword. Must, everything must blow up. I mean, you got a huge sword. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you hit Byron over here, he might blow up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for this. <laughs> I'm playing my character how I'm to, going to play my character. Oh my goodness. Sure, that's that's true. Seeing as he seems to be frail, let's say, <laughs> trying to be nice, nice as I can, yeah, we might need a letter. He, he could be. He could taste pretty good, roasted over open fire. Oh my god! So what's your name, sir? I think Bruce Don't is. Think I think Byron is talking to Osmond. you by. Aaron. <laughs> I already said when I started speaking, my name is Osvin. Well, oh, I missed it. Yeah, yeah I missed it That's too. That's my bad. <laughs> nice to meet you, Osvin. You seem like a, a dapper fellow. Boy. Or dapper. Dapper. Right, so In a tribal sense. Baby and Drevian, what do you guys have to say about this? Are you guys going to introduce yourselves? Lisa has just been listening and wondering what the fuck she got herself into. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos incarnate. Adventure. Adventure! <laughs> I mean, at least I think I have some of it, right? Mm -hmm. And Guy Baby? Name's Hesia, and at this rate, I don't think we need to worry about what anybody smells like. <laughs> Fair enough! Thank you so much, Hesia. So where are we going to make things go boom? 
This needs to be more exciting, damn it! <laughs> Well, going first, we need to head east. Himself. Well, fine. We know somebody. What time of day it is. What that? What was that? Do we know what? Do we know what time of day it is? Uh, yes. I, you can see that the sun is kind of. It's kind of at the center of the sky. It's almost like it's reaching noonish, but it's still morning. It's it's still morning-ish, so you guys you guys got plenty of time right now. We totally have plenty of time. Lisa There's always ask, time. Unless something happens. I don't know. Lisa will ask if the yeah, others want to go look. Boom, boom. I think that I think that I made that mare shit himself, and I just give it like a, a little wheezing laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was hilarious. And then I hurt my foot. And that was even more hilarious. So what, what was your plan, Lisa? Lisa asked the others if they should go at least look at the edge of the safe zone. Ah, uh, yes, a scouting mission. Yeah. Uh, that sounds most wise. So we're going to blow everything up, right? <laughs> Maybe. All right, so... Maybe is not a no. I'm going to go with it. Let's go! <laughs> So if you guys decided if there's to... nothing else, we can go dynamite fishing. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh I could get some food. I could go. You guys may want to stand right. back a little bit. I mean, bombs kind of make a little bit of an explosion. I mean, if you guys want to get in the explosion and explode too, I mean I wouldn't mind. I think I'm just gonna back. shake your head and slowly start walking away. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. explosions are really fun, but we might need those bows. So let's uh, get that the way if you're going to do anything like that right now. Mm. This is also ill advised. Uh, you guys my, are still being character. watched by people. So it's ill advised. Like, some people look very concerned at the mention <laughs> of throwing bombs into the lake. My, my character doesn't care. My <laughs> character is like, I want to blow shit up. Lisa just turned and starts walking out as loud as I can. Do any of you all mind if we borrow the, these boats? You're not going to need the boats. It's oh. mostly, it's, um... It's very shallow and just more of yeah. marshy land. Like, you can you can tell right away as... But can we borrow the boats anyways? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell nah, that nah, the, nah. Uh, the docks <gasps> kind of end at the other side of the lake. And the ground is <laughs> mostly solid. But there are, like, bits of water and pools of water all throughout that's, the place. That's something I could do. We could mm -hmm. use the boats as a Trojan horse, and I could rig them to explode. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we should save that for later. Fine! Be more effective. Fine! Fine. First. Save that for when you're being mind. attacked. <laughs> for for a Trojan horse to be effective, you need to know your enemy. Mm -hmm. And right now, we currently don't know that. Don't care. Still blow him up. Yes, we'll just do it in the more standard method. Okay. <laughs> Lisa, Let us go! Lisa interjects over the rest of them and it's like, come on, guys, and waves to the east. Let's go. Okay, I so... will start with March. Running. Pace. So you guys are starting to finally leave the village and head head east through the safe zone. Damn right we are. Okay, so as you guys are walking, as you you leave the village and uh, things become less villagey and more more ambient, more swampy sounding. Ooh, ooh, ooh! That music came. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as as you guys start to walk through the swamp, you you see that there are trees that kind of look different. They kind of they kind of have a pulse to them. Uh, if you're paying attention every now and then, the trees kind of kind of blink a bit, as if giving off energy. And you see that most of these trees that give off this energy are marked with a red cloth next to them. And this, you realize, must be the safe zone. And lots of these trees look like they've been more like mined into than chopped down. Like they've got they've got chunks torn out of them with tools. So they've been, like, gouged out. Yeah. And some of them look like they're they're growing. Others look very withered and damaged. Uh, 
some of them might have been taken too much. But as you keep going, these trees start to become less and less, less and less noticeable. And eventually, you guys stumble upon some trees that don't have the marks anymore. And while walking through the safe zone, lo and behold, it's safe. Nothing seems to happen. I would like you guys to roll perception checks. Oh boy, guys, here we go. How do we do that? Um, roll one, one d twenty plus your perception. Whatever your perception skill. Wow, I somehow um, didn't do garbage. Put a slash next to it. Put a slash before. Even with a minus two. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. <laughs> Oh boy. Thank goodness I'm not the highest. Okay, I don't I got, deserve I, to be the highest. On my... The... What's that, Bruce? Skills are the two, so is that plus five altogether? Yes. Okay, um, great. No, you want it to, um, it's gonna be whatever the skill modifier says. But I also have the additional thing, right? Keen or senses. no? The keen senses. Yeah, oh, that's another plus Okay, two. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's another plus two then, yeah. So you just gotta make sure all the bonuses are racked up. There you go. Fourteen. Alright, so one, two, three. Stop of all that. Alright, so What's on the perception skill. Um, it's on the skill sheet and it'll just be um like it's alphabetical. Yeah, it's alphabetical on the skill sheet. It's on the second page it of is your a... character sheet. So, and it's a skill that you can use even if you don't have a rank in it. Yeah. So yours is uh, plus zero. Okay, so you just roll a 1d20. <clears throat> okay. So Alton... I'm pretty sure I'm aware. Yeah, Alton, Byron, and Ravesh, you guys see that there's kind of this dry, there's there's this pool of blood everywhere, and you Ugh, see there's everywhere. kind of not not everywhere, but there's there's um it, there, too you, much. There's too much blood. Um, That's a problem. And, Blood's usually supposed to be inside the body. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there's too much blood, and. You see that some of the some of the pools of water have this blood in them, and there's kind of, you can see that there was a, a fight and a scuffle, and what you guys don't see are any bodies. Even though the guy said that that's where the bodies would be, if there if if there was any place that there should be bodies, it should be here. But there aren't. All you see is there. The ground is scuffed up. There are strange footprints all over the place. There are human footprints and these sort of thicker, um, bindlier footprints. And and blood. All right, Alton's going to call out to the group. Halt! We've come across a battle. We're in dangerous territory. I advise you have your weapons ready. And he's going to draw his longbow. Lisa will draw her short bow. Got my guard sword and then get close to the ground and uh, smell the air, see if I can't smell what these creatures are. So I'll be rolling another perception check. Uh, that would probably be a survival. Would it be perception or survival if he's trying to find... Um, if, if he's trying to track where they've gone, that would actually be better under survival. Okay. Yeah. Gone and what they are, but both trying to edit and... this. Yeah, it would be kind of. Um, <sighs> I, I would say survival because it would also be kind of a. Uh, like, do also, a survival I'm... and a local knowledge roll. I'm gonna pull a Byron and go pee, so I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, before we continue, I think this actually would be a good break spot, so if anybody needs to go to the bathroom, get more drinks. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
anything like that. <laughs> um, and I'm wiping my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so give everybody about five minutes or so, and then we'll we'll come back right. in about five minutes. I'm a little while they're doing that though. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see, what are you all? Wait, do we have to roll things? Oh. No, um, he's doing he's a really... um, tracking. And technically, I can. I might have a better chance with tracking than he does. <laughs> That roll. <laughs> oh my god! Nice. That fucking 20. Alright, I'm gonna be RP though. <laughs> this is the best. Good job on that roll. Seriously. It's good shit right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that happened. Because I have no modifiers in um I know, vocal. but sometimes you get lucky. The hands of fate and all that. Thank you, R and D this. Yep. <laughs> Changing gods right now. I'm a paladin <laughs> of R and Jesus. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, you know, honestly it doesn't matter really where I have my where I have my picture right now. Ew. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to readjust. This. Come on, readjust. Yeah, I think that'll work. It'll work for me, anyways, until I can figure something else out for it. Now we have the creepy ambiance of the swamp. So while we're on break, I'm going to just be face cam because I can. <laughs> I like making interesting characters. They may have bullshit stats, but I make them fun regardless. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. I got Kool-Aid and an apple. I have my Hawaiian punch still. My, my Kool-Aid's like the equivalent of your Hawaiian punch, so... Mm-mm. I've got my salt water. I'm getting into character. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Got Mountain Dew and cheese. Not a bad combo, Shy. Yeah. It was the fastest thing I could grab. <laughs> well, I I did the smart thing and I ate before, you know, starting. Straight. Oh man, I got the munchies and I have a massive headache. <laughs> I ate two, but I just wanted an apple, so I grabbed an apple. <laughs> I think I'm going to start giving everybody a plain and nickname, just because I can't remember everybody, and it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> Most people either call me Drev or Alex. I think she might be giving nicknames to the individual characters. Oh, then maybe. maybe. Uh, doing a ready check, so just type ready when you're all well, ready. Well, I, I didn't leave, so I can't not be, you know, back. Mm -hmm. I've been here the whole time. I, I mean, we're talking, so I'm assuming we're ready. I know, but there's six of you. I need to keep track of all of you. <laughs> do you? I do. 
Okay, so so Osmond's rolls are in. That's good. Fish boy. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stop it. Can I bonk him first? Stop it, children. Bonk. Um. Okay. So now that we're back, Osman, you were trying. To, you were looking at the tracks and trying to see if you could figure out what these were and get any information from these tracks, right? It's well. I'm which way they went and what they are. Okay, so with these two, the first is your survival and the second is the the knowledge local. So, right away, you know that these tracks are amphibian in nature. You don't know the name of these creatures because not many people know what these are, but you know that they're amphibian and they're natural to the swamp. Um... Can can I do a roll because I might have knowledge on this? Um, knowledge nature. Knowledge nature. Um, I found yeah. it first. Um, Which I do. Hold on, hold on. I wanna, I wanna do get do everything with his roll first. Um, okay. So you know that these are amphibian in nature, and that whatever these things are, they're incredibly hostile. Uh, they usually attack people. Often, and you can tell from the tracks in the fight that whenever this was, it went north, and it was dragging a body with it. Uh, it was dragging one of the bodies. It didn't use the body to dra to cover up its tracks, so you can tell you can follow the tracks very easily up north. Here, let me cover <clears throat> the tracks with blood. Yeah, They'll never notice. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably not bright. They're just incredibly hostile. Mm-hmm. And whatever this thing was. Uh, it's incredibly hostile, it's dangerous, and you can't really tell much more, but you know that it, it's heading up north, it's dragging a body with it, and it's a very dangerous creature. And there was only one of them. There was only one creature that attacked these guys. Well, fuck. <laughs> it's kind of scary if one creature could do this. Also remember that these are just they're like workers. They're not trained fighters, so that's yeah, that's okay. Yeah. They're commoners. Yeah. Can Lisa tell if there's any birds or anything in the area? Um, any birds? Any birds or flying animals? Uh, yeah. There's 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 animals nearby. You can tell that there's that there um there hasn't been any sort of like silence thing. You can you can hear the croaking of frogs. The the chittering of birds. The swamp is alive. Okay. What I want to do is I want to tell everybody what I learned. And say, said, whatever the, whatever this is, it's it's big. It's it's more hostile than I am. That's saying something. <laughs> and <laughs> there's there's only one of them, and it's it's I don't know the name of it, but it's some kind of amphibian, and it. It's heading north, and it's got a body with it. It's Dragon One. Lead the way! Let's go blow it up! <laughs> Lisa offers to check with the birds and wildlife to see if they knew, know anything about the creature. Um, mm, what would that be? Do you know how to talk to animals? I'm self. I have the Sky Speaker trait. I can speak with an animal. With that, I can. I can basically do speak animals once per day with birds or other flying animals. Oh. Okay. Nice. Um. What kind of role would that be? Uh, you do. You do see that there's there's a couple of like. Um. Uh, Kino. Yeah. Speak with animals is just a spell. You use it. Yeah. You can speak with animals. Oh. For a duration. It's a, it's a for, small for some duration. duration. It yeah. might be, it's got to be at least like a minute per level. It, per I level. thought it was like 10 minutes per level. Yeah, that's why I say at least. Yeah. yeah. Checking okay. right now. I don't, yeah, it's I'm look, trying to look. Um, okay, so if it's just a spell. A uh, minute per level. So yeah, you'd still be able to have a quick conversation be like, Yo, bird, what happened? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, okay, so so you're using this this speak of animal, and you do notice that there's this this little this little blue jay bird. Um, it's it's chittering away, and it's 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 eyeing you. But have you? What do you? What do you? You notice this little blue bear, blue jay? What do you say to it? Kind of have to word words. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa. Hmm. Softly calls for the Blue Jay and asks what happened here. There's a lot of blood in this one little area. And the, the Blue Jay kind of chitters, it tilts a 10. Um, it's like, well, lots of Lots of people, big giants, giants chopping away, chopping away at my, my home, and then, tree, tree. and then this big, this big thing looked like a frog, but it's not a frog. Hmm. It came in and just it jumped on one of the big things. Well, it jumped on one of the giants, and and the. The giants pushed it away, and it dragged two others off, but it didn't drag the jumped one off. The bird doesn't seem very talkative, though. Like it's all Probably it's really gonna. Probably skittish and scared. Yeah, it's just really it's really it's all it's gonna say. It doesn't like the fact that it's one of the giants can talk to it. Uh, <laughs> And after obviously, after not only being spooked by that, by being able to understand you, and then saying something, it kind of kind of flutters before off. You, or okay, what, what yeah. are you saying? What are you saying? But before it flutters off, then I'll use wild empathy to um, make to improve its attitude. Okay, what does that do, and how does that work? <laughs> How does, how does wild empathy? Is it just another spell? Uh, no, well, it's all empathy. It's the ranger a, fee. Yeah, ranger that's fee. that's an ability. I think you get to use uh, diplomacy instead of handle animal, and you get a bonus. No, yeah. okay. let's see. The ranger rolls one d twenty and adds his ranger level and his charisma bonus to determine the wild empathy result check. Okay. Uh, okay. It functions just like diplomacy to improve the <laughs> attitude of the bird. Okay. Then then roll that. So let's see. I need d twenty. Plus one for your level. And Plus one for my level. One for your. And oh, I no. believe my charisma is two. Yep, my charisma so is two, three. so plus three. Nine. Oh, it's probably not. I don't the think bird, the bird's gonna talk to me anymore. No, the bird. The bird kind of it's, flutters off. It's it's not. It's like really scared. Yeah, it doesn't want to stick around because there's a lot of giants here, and it's not. It's it's a bird. It's a little baby bird. Doesn't want to. It doesn't want to be attacked by any money giants. They're attacking its home. But yes, yes. Uh, Lisa, what did you yes. learn from talking to the bird? Because we're all sort of staring at you because you talked to a bird. <laughs> I imagine you just started chirping. <laughs> it's like I can't. Like... The bird said that. The um, villagers came here and started chopping, and then this frog-like creature jumped on one of them. It drug off the other two, but left the one that it had jumped on. Hmm. Frog-like creature, eh? That does Can I do that uh, Osvin, no, Osvin's story that it is quite large if it can drag off two people. Mm -hmm. Chino? Yeah. Based off the information from both Osvin and Lisa... Can I do a knowledge nature and maybe think that I might know something more about what this creature might be? Yes. Okay. So I'm like, hey, frog-like, big, I might know something, guys. Give me a moment. I'll laugh if you come to the conclusion. <laughs> I'm like, frog. one. No. <laughs> you know that it Sorry. is. You know that it is an amphibian. And you essentially... <laughs> Let's see. You essentially... Throw up back the the words that everybody told you, <laughs> as if you're like pretending to know, it. except you basically just repeated what everybody told you. Yep. 
Don't worry, Thragon. You're just rolling out all the bad luck right now. I know. I'm, I'd rather have it here than when I'm throwing a bomb. Exactly. <laughs> if I throw a bomb and drop it, it does splash damage around me, so don't stand next to me. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a distance. I'm a ranged ranger, so I'm not saying it next to anybody. <laughs> I'm mostly well, I mean, not bomb. staying next to uh, a Ravish. Riv Rivish? Rivish. Rivish, yes. Mostly him. Um, Her. I'm, I'm in an odd combination of... I'm towards the front, <laughs> but still in the middle. I have range, but I've got defenses. <laughs> um, what, what, what was the rolls for um, the um, tracking check earlier? Um, I. Yeah. Uh, Osmin, yeah, he has enough to... Osman knows... What direction this thing's going, and we'll probably yeah, be got able to track it for a while. He yeah. got a twenty-one. Hmm. He'll be able to find it. Um, if he you be able, like telling things from the tracks as well. Yeah, he probably can follow it, but <laughs> maybe not what anything about the tracks. Um, if you want, with all the information you guys know, you can try and do a knowledge local and see if you can figure out like. What exactly this is? Knowledge look cannot be done in this on unless you have it trained, though. Yes, that is true. I do I, not have it trained. I do. I don't have it trained, and I take minus two on untrained skill checks anyway, so I'm not. <laughs> is well, trained um, the, the check mark? Uh, trained is the check mark. Yes, I believe. Oh, I have it trained, guys. I got you. I got. Well, you. Do you have do a something. rank in it? Do you have a rank in it? Uh. That's, is that the check mark? No, no, no. No, um, the check mark oh, means it's a class skill. One rank in it, yes. Okay, then you have a train. So, Yo, yes, you can use go. it. I will roll the local knowledge to figure out what the hell this thing is. It's knowledge local. Knowledge local, you know what? <laughs> 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 Alright, so it's going to be a 1d20. I got an 8! I got an 8! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's better than I rolled like the last couple times. Uh, well, no, the funny thing is, wrong. the funny thing is, is Ravesh actually still rolled higher than you with this. I know. So when you, when you talk about this, you, you Say even leave, less. you leave out things. <laughs> like it's, I got this, I got this, I got this. Guys, it's a giant frog. <laughs> Guys, Byron, I don't know what I saw. So these things things the blood on the ground. They were, uh, the, there were people here, and they got carried by this big thing, guys. I got it. I figured it out. Alton's face calming at the twice in a row. People just spouting the same information. <laughs> I think we shouldn't waste any more time, though. Uh, That's actually I think we know road, enough. Uh, I said it first. I think we know enough to get going, mm -hmm. everybody. Do we know what time of day it is still? Um, it took you guys, it took you guys maybe an hour to get here, so it's about noon. There so it's, the safe zone is not a big zone. <laughs> you, you realize that the safe zone is kind of really small, and the villagers have been very uh, hesitant to stretch out into the swamp, for obviously good reasons. Uh, question, <laughs> what, what time of year is it? What time of year? It's, it's, um... It's not winter. It's not winter. It's not summer. It's like it's like fall. It's okay, like so. so the, we, the... we got until like <clears throat> seven before it gets dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys... uh, I think I think that'd be another local knowledge. Knowledge local. Well, no, that's just um, that's just a the world. The world general. thing. It's essentially treat time of day like real life. But yes. So uh... it's it's the middle of fall. So you guys would know that you guys have been about. Seven hours if you don't want to stick around. If you don't want to stay into the swamp, you get about In seven case, hours. I, I think we can delve about <clears throat> for another three hours, and then we got to head back. Yeah. Really. Um, Lisa. Yes? Uh, do you have a means of marking territory? Because we are going off the beaten <laughs> path. Of conventional, no. I can stick arrows into trees. <laughs> I mean, it works. Yeah. Make sure to arrows take an arrow out of your inventory every time you do this. 
Okay. Okay. How many keep... arrows do you have, Lisa? Of normal pointy arrows that are easy to stick in the trees, a hundred. Oh, <laughs> okay. No, you're, you're, you'll be fine. Keep track of it, but you'll be fine. Uh, I also have 20 this? blunt arrows if I need them, too. Behave, you too. <laughs> hmm. uh, yes, I think, I think we've hey, got a suitable out. plan. <laughs> Foolproof plan of going forward, putting arrows in trees, and hoping that nothing takes the arrows. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I'm, I'm. I could just, we could just know, like, put them like high up, but high enough up that other things can't really reach them. There you go. And then deep enough that something else can't pull them out easily. Mm hmm. Incredibly genius thinking. So, you guys are going to go forward? Good job, Lisa. <laughs> and how often are you going to be doing that? Um, how fast do we think we will be traveling? Not very. <laughs> like, you guys are probably... I'm assuming you guys are going to go slow and follow the tracks until you find whatever it is, or there are no tracks to follow. I think we can only go as fast as Alton. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Now, Unless have... somebody carries him. It's like, yeah, it's like we have a giant Carry. seven oh, man. like seven plus foot tall, just carry him. How <laughs> how heavy is he with all of his gear and everything on him? Um it's not about all of his gear, it's about all of him and his tail. <laughs> yeah, but how heavy is he? Total. I don't know, a couple hundred pounds. Like, well, I mean, I could, as I could, much as a small horse. The null, the null I could pick just... you up off the ground and pull you and just, you know, easily carry you along the way. Do I wouldn't be to... able to do anything while doing it. You have to account for the fact that he has a long tail. He is very uh -huh, long. But it, I can push and drag up to a thousand pounds. Mm hmm. I don't think you can do I, it at 30 feet lift, per round, though. Yeah, I can lift off of the ground. Well, it would still be faster than how fast you're going right now. He's, I going, go, he's only going... I, I, have, I have 15 feet land speed. Eh, fair enough. Yeah. So it would... Trying to drag him would be... As uh, a note, of when we travel there. between towns, we're going to need a cart. <laughs> yes. But that's future problem. <laughs> and it's coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, renting a cart is not that expensive. Well, you we're going to have to buy a cart because renting is just going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. In the long term. Anyways. But, but yes, let, let us sally Any forth. We've got our game plan. Anyways, our I game can plan put is like every everything. 30 to 45 feet. Because even if it doesn't work, I'll still be able to see them. Okay. So, every 30 to 45 feet. So, let's just let's just say... For every hour of travel is about 10 arrows. Just to make things easy for you. Okay. Because I don't want to I don't want to have that be like a huge thing. A number of arrows. Yeah. yeah. But it depends on how far we're traveling. Mm -hmm. But only Kino knows that and he's not telling us yet. Not yet. Um, but yeah, I'll just I'll keep track of to like travel stuff with time instead of feet. Well, we we have a we yeah, it's like yeah. we have about three hours, so I yeah. have oh goodness. Like what enough is people for doing? That, uh, people needs to stop. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on right now. I don't know where that came from. Oop, there you go. No more. <laughs> it's no more. gone now. Uh, okay, so you guys are gonna go Problem follow the tracks. Solved. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe we all also have our weapons drawn. All your weapons are drawn. Okay. Okay. So you're a ragtag group of people. Uh, but by the way, for the record, <laughs> my weapon, my main weapon, other than my bombs, is a blowgun. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's actually something that I need to get, take note of. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> while you guys are going through and traveling, you guys, you follow the tracks for about an hour, and nothing seems to deviate. There, the tracks kind of. Twist a little bit, but it's you're still traveling generally north. Generally um, in one direction. Yeah, generally in one direction. 
Uh, and you guys kind of stumble upon some water. You kind of stumble upon a little, a little stream of water. A stream and, in the middle of a swamp. Yeah. Extra it's, water. It's you can walk through it, and there's not really much of an issue getting over it. It's about three feet long. Um, but you realize that once you reach the water, the tracks have kind of become muddied and are a lot harder to follow. Ah. Uh. Like, on the other side of the water? Uh, yes. Well, both ways. As, as it gets closer to the water, the tracks kind of become uh, thinner, as if they've been washed away. Uh, and on the other side of the... You can't see any tracks at the moment. You can't see anything on the other side of the water. Hmm. I think this calls for <laughs> another um, survival check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta say what you're doing. I mean, you can't just be like, survival check, and then <laughs> force Kino to figure it out. We ha You have to yeah. like, be like, what are you trying to focus on? I'm, as I'm assuming that if you guys are going to roll survival, you're going to continue to try and find the tracks. That's my assumption as of now. Unless you say something otherwise. Yeah. Well, with, with my abysmal wisdom, I am no good at survival. You can this also... Somebody else's job. Look around if you want. I mean, you don't have to do a survival, but, like, tell me what you guys are doing. You, I want to look around at the surroundings to see if I can find the frog thing. Alton's going to look because he has nothing better to do. Okay. Like, look around for, like, yeah, anything. Again. Just, like, anything out of the ordinary. All right. So... <laughs> Alton, I do not see. Alton, you don't see anything because you're blind. Um, Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Literally blind. Uh, the clouds uh, are getting a bit thicker. You <laughs> hold on. Let me just rub my eyes a bit. The sun kind of beats through the through the trees, and you you kind of go blind a little bit. Uh, I'm in awe here? at the nature around me. <laughs> so I'm gonna just like look at the surroundings, see if I can see frog thing. Okay. Or look for frog thing. Boom. Oh, that was a good nice. roll. So, you... That's a good roll for a yes or no question. <laughs> That's a good roll for a yes or no question. You don't see any frogs. You don't see any frog things. What you do see is that some of the trees around... I don't around... see any frogs in a swamp. You don't see any frogs in the swamp. But what you do see is that some of the trees have little marks on them. Uh, they're not axe marks like the elder root trees were. But they kind of have little clawed marks on it. And they're not... Random. They look like they were purposely carved into the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, question for something uh, Ravish can see. Mm -hmm. Are these claw marks like, sort of like how we're doing the arrows? Like, um, are they going in a direction? Or is it just on like one tree? Uh, they are going in a direction. Okay. They are... You see that there's there. Ramesh sees that there's one well, e to the east of him, to her, and to the west of her, as if they were going on a path. Interesting. Can't tell which direction is coming and which is going. Uh, no, they do not look fresh. They okay. look like that they've both been carved into the trees in a while. It kind of looks like the trees have even kind of grown over the marks a bit. But the marks have scarred the trees enough that they're still prominent. So I'm assuming that Lisa's the ranger, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Lisa is the ranger. Yeah. So I run over, grab Lisa, and like I think I found something, and drag him and like jam their face right against the marks. Do you see this? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. that's something, right? <laughs> right. It it could be. I... So, so maybe you might be able to know more because I only see these marks. I don't know what they mean. Do something. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here poking, poking their face. It's like I, I could do a check to see if I can try to identify what type of marks they are. Yeah, you can. You can do just like a give me a perception roll. <laughs> All right. Let's see, my perception. 
because I haven't memorized it yet. I have to look. Plus That's four. fine. And then make sure I don't get any other bonuses to those for whatever reason. <laughs> well, if you're an elf, you get a plus two. To perception. I'm, I'm self. Yeah. Oh, you're self. Lisa's That's a right. self. Uh, Byron, Ravish, and Hesia are elves. We got a lot of elves in here, and they're all kind of fucked up in different ways. None of you are human, <laughs> which is interesting. I don't... Okay, I don't Have a I good one, else. Shadow! Eleven. Uh, Eleven. You can't really tell what they are, but what you do notice is that they're going in one direction. It's like... Can they're... I... Yep? Can I identify what creature they'd be from? Um, if you have knowledge local, you can. I can... I can roll a knowledge local with a minus one. <laughs> Yo, I believe... Hey, <laughs> if you roll high enough, I mean, if the you, negative doesn't really matter. If you're ranked into I, it, you can. No, uh, or if I you, thought uh, I'm rangers ranked. have that can, ability. Yeah, oh, I yeah, can yeah, do okay, a local okay, yeah. track to identify. Yeah, definitely. So, I'll make the d20 minus one. Yep. Uh, oh! <laughs> no! I think it's an animal, guys. You've you've never seen you've never seen this before. Ever. Uh, you know that the marks are going to are, are predomin predominantly um, going to the west, going going west words, but you've never okay. seen these before. Be because I. Because the minus one is from a character trait, I want to actually I include it. Lisa spent so much time trying <laughs> to identify the mark that everyone else just kind of gives up and goes back to looking. Mm -hmm. Because she's being so meticulous trying to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I, I, the drawback I took was meticulous. I get minus two on untrained checks. Ah, okay. But be okay, from, how about from, the... Mm -hmm. But it's like I can make a I can make the untrained check because of Ranger. And because of another trait, I get plus one on local no on knowledge of local. There ah. you go. <laughs> so it's, it's a really roundabout way to do this. You Makes should sense. probably get a rank in that at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um <clears throat> Okay, so how about the rest of you guys? Uh Ravesh, Alton, and Lisa have all tried to do something. Um Hesia, Byron, Oswin, do you guys have any anything to say? Self and see uh, what I can what I can find out about them. Like, has there any been anything here recently? Mm -hmm. Maybe. If if someone can do a check and tell me what type of creature it is. Yeah, could I do another local uh, local knowledge local thing? Yeah. Y um. It depends. New area, so. Yeah, it's a new area, but what are you going to do the local knowledge on? The uh, the marks. Try to figure out what that came from. Okay. If the, re the reason I say is because my favorite enemies. What the hell? Favorite... Oh my god. Your favorite enemy are vermin. Yeah, so it's like um, I'm trying to... So if you can identify that it's vermin... You can track th it. Then I can add the plus two bonus. Byron, you... You're not sure what these things are. However, you know that they are also amphibian. They look similar enough to the tracks that you've been following, but they're kind of different, and you don't know why. Great. So um, I'm going to tell Lisa. I'm pretty sure these uh, this is also amphibian, like the creature that uh, did all that stuff to those guys before that were chopping the trees. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure, though. All right better than what the fuck I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking that one and minus one. Holy fuck. <laughs> We're off to a wonderful Quite start. Recently. I mean, the, the encounter I'm going to throw at you guys when combat finally does happen, you guys are just going to one-shot everything with your 20s. Uh... I'm not bitter. I... <laughs> well, we're getting all the ones on the rest of this, so we better get 20s in combat. If we get mm -hmm. ones, I'm fucking flipping the table. <laughs> if I get a... Anyways... Because I'll probably kill the um, party. Hesia, what do you have to say about all this? Um, she wants to look around on the ground and see if she can see anything. 
while she is also listening to hear something that's not normally heard around the swamp? Um, I'd say give a survival roll. Then. It's giving a heads up, by the way. I got about like 20 minutes left before I have to leave. Okay. Yeah, so we may just have to pause it before combat starts even, and we can pick you up next time. Yeah. That's what we call a cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, let's at least get to combat, so let's try mm -hmm. and move along here, guys. But yeah. Uh, so, Hesse, yeah. you're going to want to give me a survival roll, which is the 1d20 plus your survival ranks, your survival skill. <coughs> Having issues with the dice. Nice. Yes, yes, we are having We are issues having a lot dice. of issues with the dice. <laughs> oh, Apparently boy. so. Dice well, are not I wanted to see, right if, to see if there's anything here recently. Maybe I can make Master Marvel roll. Mm -hmm. SCA, you hear nothing. Okay. I, so been... we see the tracks going one direction. Why don't we just follow them that way? Good idea. Yeah. I agree. Well, I mean, I wasn't seeing that in character, so... <laughs> because well, if I was yeah. seeing in character, it would be a lot more hyperactive. Uh, also, Osman was wanting to do something. Here recently, or if anything new besides those tracks can be, can be found. Okay. Like anything coming through here. So I'd say give me a survival for that, too. Whoa! There you go. Dang. You don't see anything. However, you do hear things. and They're going the same direction as the... They're actually coming from the east. You're hearing chittering noises. Kind of like chittering and thumping noises. That there's something big uh, jumping over stuff. And other things having conversations with themselves in a language you do not understand. Uh, you can barely hear this, and as you listen, you hear that they are coming closer. Like if oh you guys, if you guys stayed where you are, whatever is coming, whatever Osmond is hearing, will reach you guys because you hear that it is coming in this direction. Huh. Uh oh. Ambush. Hey, Ambush. Tell, tell everybody Ambush. as and as low well as well as the voice makes sure they, they they can hear me, but whatever's coming can't. I tell them that something's coming and it's big. In which direction is it coming from? Where's it's, it coming from? Where is it's, it? It's coming from the east and it's going west. It's essentially following the path of marks. Or you could assume it's following the path of marks by the direction that is that you hear the noise in the direction you can tell that they're coming. So so we can blow them up, right? Right? Whatever it is, I can blow it up. Yeah? Yeah? Anyone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do I not? We'll be ready. All right. Blow the hell out of it. <laughs> I say put it, put the explosives far enough, far enough back that we can <laughs> see what they are first. Well, no, 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 no. I, uh, I can't set up bombs oh, until oh, I get God. time bombs. I'm saying I'm going to blow them up when I see them. Uh, <laughs> really quick, Osvin, or, you know, for Osvin's check, does he know approximately how far away they are? Um, they'll, they're about... In, in feet. I need feet. In feet. Um, fuck. Uh, you can't see them. Um, they are farther than 30 feet. They're probably... Are they farther than 60, though? Uh, yes. They're about okay. 70 feet away. And they're moving quick enough that they'll be here in a couple of minutes. I, I, I'm, I will ask Osvin this so I can gain <laughs> this information for myself. Because he's the yeah. one who made the check. That, that they're getting closer. It sounds like whatever it is, they're speaking something I don't understand. It's like a little chittering. And... 
they're about seventy feet away, if not if not closer. All right. Uh, Osvin's going to use his super duper paladin power. Detect evil with a range of sixty feet. And wait for a few moments. You don't detect anything. Ah. Okay. Whatever these things are, they're not inherently, they're not inherently evil. evil. They're not inherently evil. Fair they're enough. probably just like chaotic. Can I? I. I What's advise up? you. Can I perform a perception check to see if I can identify if they're vermin or not yet? Um. Or like hmm. what type of creature in general they'd be. Um. Okay. You know, I would say no. Because you, all you know is the information that Osmond is is experiencing, and you can't see them and you can't hear them. They're 70 feet away and moving in? Yes, but there's also, you're in a swamp. So okay. there's, there's trees, there's foliage, you're not on the path anymore. Um, there's enough room for you guys to be moving around, but... You're not going to see them until they're right on top of you. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That's always true for Alton. <laughs> <laughs> if they're farther than 30 feet away, he has, like, no idea where they are. Mm -hmm. okay. But yes, Alton will prepare in the stream, ready for them. In the stream. <laughs> well, yeah, because water. Okay. Yes. Um... Make a stealth check. Make a, make a stealth roll. No. No? No. He's not hiding. He's not hiding. He's just... In, oh, he's just in the water. Okay. <laughs> he's a, Yeah, he's just in the water at the ready for combat. He's a paladin. He doesn't do cowardly things like sneak attacks. Okay. Lisa, hey. Lisa on the other hand, will try to get up into a tree. Feel free to use me as a distraction, friends. <laughs> I will face these foes head on. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm We're try... not even going to get to see him this time, are we? Uh, no, you will. You will. Um, you'll get to see what's coming up, because if you're going to wait, um, you'll get to see what's coming. Uh, so we're going to that... just do this, like, once a week, I'm stop assuming. It. Stop it. Stop drawing, please. Please stop drawing. Pretty okay. please. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're going to try and do this once a week, or, um, like, whenever we can get everybody here, pretty much. So these are... Oh boy, so many archer figurines. <laughs> um, let's see. Are these the only ones that are saved? Private messages. Um, private message. Ah, yes, thank you. Something I need. Uh, then save image. Uh, as you guys are waiting, what are you guys doing? So Osman, um, so not Osman, but um, here I want to. Alton, Alton is hiding in the stream. I not want, hiding. Not hiding. Um, Just out in the open, like distraction. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm off to the side by a tree, hide, slightly hiding behind it. Oh, Not like... No. Yeah. So the stream is deep enough that you're kind of... You you can touch the bottom, but you can, you're can you also able to move very Poking swiftly up. through it. Yeah, because... actually, that's a good question. Can I use my swim speed for the stream? Uh, yes. Oh, boy. As, oh. Long as, you're, as long as you're in the water... Uh, right. It'll take a little. If you want to leave the water, yes, yes. Um, it'll take a bit because you gotta flounder out of it like a fish out of water. <laughs> very, very awkwardly. Hold on, guys. Eh, flop, flop, flop. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so just make sure to save this screen so that way it's here next time. Yeah, definitely. Um, can I give permissions. Hopefully. Uh, I will figure all that up later. Actually, so, yeah, that's a good point. Just set up the scene, <laughs> and then we'll figure out how to fight later. Yeah. yeah. I'll set up the scene and everything. So, 
What I want you guys to do is tell me how you guys are um waiting. Like Okay. Um Where are me, you? Byron, I am uh Okay, shit. Where where is the thing coming from? Which direction? Uh East. East. To the right. So, right to the okay. right. Yeah. I'm gonna be down uh like the bottom left, hiding like <laughs> in some foliage. Okay. I'm going to be partially hidden behind this tree right here that I'm pointing at. Right here. Okay. Actually, wait a second. I, I'm going to be... I'm going to take this little small tree. I'm going to hide, like, on the bottom side of this small tree. The green Mainly because I, I have to be relatively close to use my bombs. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, honestly, if you guys just put an X where you are... Um... Uh, Kino, you've got me pretty much exactly where I want to be. Awesome. Um, I will do some measurement right now, though. That's close enough to me, to an X. All right. <laughs> and then Hesia and Alt, or no, Alt, I'm sorry. There. Um, Osmond and Lisa, give me an X where you want. Here. I can almost see everybody. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive with your sight. Yes. <laughs> I love doing that on an oracle because once you get to higher levels, you actually... Uh... Yo, is that a frog? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least he wasn't lying when he said they weren't goblins. That's true. Well, it's, um, um, it's a few enemies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so while you guys prep up and are going through, at about 30 feet, all of you hear this chittering noises and these thumps and thumps. And you see everyone who can see. I don't know how how far does um, Alton's sight I, allow him to see. I, I can see the I can see the three closest archers. Okay, so when Alton sees the three um, the three frog people in front of him, uh, they all chitter and make noises because they see this fish person thing sitting in the stream in the river, and. They're making chittering noises, and everybody else sees that the three front guys are brandishing spears. They're brandishing spears at the fish, at, at Alton. And behind them are two more of these tree frog people. And they are, and those two are riding atop of giant frogs. Oh, oh boy. Cool. They, are, <laughs> oh, they are riding the giant frogs. Oh, so they're on top of them. You just have the models off to the side. Yes. Because, because it makes it's, sense. it's easier like that. Okay. Um, so, so can I kill five of them with one attack? I hope not. Please. Um, <laughs> I thought we were going to do the epic cliffhanger. Yeah. So I know. <laughs> you see this group of frogs, and before combat happens, before we cliffhanger it, um, anyone who's not Alton, anyone who can, make a knowledge local check on these guys. Can't. I, I can. think that is Byron. I got six on that. Yeah, I'll do it. And do we get a bonus because we're looking right the fuck at them? Yes. And um, not just... Or he oh. could just make the DL. Or... Doesn't matter. Okay. We're, we're making knowledge local checks. I think I think Byron just had a revelation. <laughs> I've been dumb this whole time, and then all yeah. of a sudden, oh, oh, I understand what's going things. on now, guys. I've okay. seen them before. And so hey, we'll was, end. Uh, we will end today's session with this, Byron. That twenty. You you see these frog people, and you realize that these are Gripply. These are Gripplies. They're little tree frog men, and they often work together as groups. And you can tell that this whole group here, they're a group. They're, they're obviously gathered together 
And they look pissed off because they see <laughs> Alton. They are ready. The three frogs in, in the front, they all have spears and then they all have like a sword on their belts. Because they all, they're wearing clothing. They're not naked. They're not unintelligent creatures. These are sentient creatures that live in the swamp. Uh, and with these, they're not just randomly here. They look like they come from a civilization. They look like they come from some place else that they have, that they can call home. The two, fro uh, the two Gripplies riding the giant frogs are brandishing blow darts. And they have little swords on their belts too. So, this hunting group of Gripplies have just stumbled upon Alton. Byron understands this and knows that these guys, they are going to fight. They want to kill this. They want to kill this interloper. And you can hear them choking them croaking and gathering and they're just they're ready to fight <laughs> oh, no, um, I, know that, though. Oh. I, I i do have one finisher <laughs> before combat actually starts mm -hmm. i will greet them in aquan because who knows maybe they speak that greetings from the silverfin house i do hope we will not have to spill too, too much blood today make a reflex save please <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. Or actually, hold on. What's your um what's your AC at? Uh it is 18. 18. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, oh! Uh, just barely. <laughs> As you say this, you feel a dart slam into your shoulder. Take one damage. I've been tickled. <laughs> it tickles. Is that the cliffhanger now? Is that what we're leaving off? <laughs> yes. I think I think that's it. As that's as great. Alton like speaks, he, he gets hit by a dart right in the shoulder. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it's enough it's to smile. know. It's enough it's to know. Face. It's not going to be a good time. Does everyone know that now? Like, since everyone can everyone can see, see that the dart got shot and that Alton got nailed right in the shoulder. Well, that pretty much just means, from my character's perspective, they're enemies, and that means they need to be in tiny little giblets on the ground. So that's what mm -hmm. was for nothing. What was that? Well, that's you learned a lot about, about them. No, no, no. You learned a lot about them, and um, I'll keep it in mind for later. Most definitely for later. Uh, because because you have that knowledge now. You have Once that you've knowledge. done the check, you have that knowledge. I realize retroactively, <laughs> the guy with darts are out of my sight range, so I probably would have been flat-footed, so I was very likely to be hit there. Mm -hmm. But eh, that's, and that's not important. For anyone I get looking on my anyways. end, here's a nice little preview of what's about to happen. Uh-oh. I'm not looking at your stream, so... I'm not either. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys... I don't want spoilers. I mean, all I'm showing is what you guys can see on the screen. Um, oh, okay. Essentially, I'm showing off the little layout they have for combat. Hmm. So, yeah. I, I could technically try to see if they could speak Elven or other languages. Um, nothing, but at this point, I don't think... None, Actually, nothing with, you guys are going to say are going to understand with, them. With Byron's impressive 26 knowledge local, does mm -hmm. he know the language? Um, yes. Do. The language, oh. language they are speaking is, um, uh... Gripply? No, no, it's not Gripply. It's, um, it's something a little different. Um, I can't remember what it's called exactly. Let me go find it. Um, because it's something that other things that you guys are going to encounter speak. Um, so it actually is an important thing to know. Um, well, yeah, obviously, we would want to know what they're saying. The language these guys speak is Bogard. Oh. Mm. That'll be helpful to know, and it's also a language we can't learn, so... Mm -hmm. As far as I know. I mean, I'm sure that there's a way you could learn it, but... No well, magical <laughs> artifacts and items and things, but we don't have access to those. Not yet, yeah. no. <laughs> we're not cool yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not heroes of time or anything. 
But yeah, as it stands, you understand that these things are speaking Bogard, and you know that Gripplies don't normally speak this language. This is not a language that they are naturally born to, la to learn. Um, it is interesting. But it's a language that they do know. All right. Well, um, that is a good cliffhanger to leave things on. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Especially because it adds to the mystery that you were saying we were getting, and I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so with the little time we have left, what did you guys think? What did you think of this session? What did you think of the campaign so far and about how I'm handling things? I'm loving it. It's, like it's, yeah. oh, it's, it's fun. Good. I mean, good. A, lot of, a lot of what D&D &D is is pretty much just the interactions between the people, your imagination, and trying to play your character, how you make them. Hmm. And I think I succeeded with mine. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. You guys scared I, the mayor. I, I know exactly what your character is all about. and that's... Scaring the mayor what? is fun. I mean, Fans. Well, that's the thing. My character can get into trouble with that because I will play my character to the fucking letter, mm -hmm. and that can get him get her into a lot of trouble. You're already on thin ice with the mayor. So is Oz. Yes, though. but I said it would help. So I mean that that you know if we actually succeed at this, I mean guys, mm -hmm. just just remember, that's why... think of a plan to break him out of jail someday. <laughs> That actually happened in my last campaign. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be inevitable. Well, because um, what what happened in my last campaign? Sorry, I'm sidetracked. Hold on, before before you sidetrack. Um, okay. Fine. Cassia, Bruce, and Drevian, or uh, Shy Baby Drew, Bruce, and Drevian. How did you guys enjoy this? Because this is your guys' first couple of times. Oh man, I love I, I love them so far. It's a good time having fun. I like being Byron. Byron's a pretty cool guy. He's pretty. I like dumb. Byron too, but you know, <laughs> it's like Dwight. Byron's yeah, kind I'm of the a... Dwight of the crew. <laughs> Rivish getting into trouble is kind of why I already have a six in diplomacy. <laughs> oh man, you two, we could be diplomacy buddies. Yeah. Well, we need one face of the party, so I mean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like one person who mainly interacts with like all of the authority figures we come across and all that. Yeah. Because if you don't have one, then everybody tries talking over and then it gets confusing. So usually when interacting with like townsfolk, mayor, yeah. prison guards for whatever reason, for um, some reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to have like one person t as your go-to person who usually has like the highest charisma, Good diplomacy, good sense motive. I mean, like perception, mm -hmm. um, sense motive, perception, uh, and if you're going that route, intimidate. Yeah, has okay. got intimidate down covered. Yeah, as as a paladin, my only good skill is diplomacy. Yep. <laughs> nice. There's pretty much. I should I should invest into sense motive a lot more in the future. It's well, like don't have any instance motive at the moment so yeah sense, sense motive is definitely going to be one you're going to want to get i have sixes in diplomacy and handle animal got seven in diplomacy and four in knowledge religion you can I handle you can handle the animals really well yeah i have four in linguistics four in perception two in intimidate i can three and bluff i could blow my way out mm -hmm. and uh kino for yeah. the for the record, with my bombs, their min the splash damage on them <laughs> is a one square around where I throw it. Okay. And so... for, e for each one of those squares around where I throw it, it does six damage. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So for the record. My, my charisma's 15. So... And, uh, and Kino, the uh, bomb, if I hit, get a direct hit with the bomb, it does 1d6 plus 5. Jesus Christ! Well, that's the square <laughs> that I throw it at. It does that. And then all around it, it does the bomb's minimum damage as splash damage. Okay. Um, don't they also get a reflex for the splash damage? 
I believe uh, the reflex. They should get a yes, reflex. They do. Uh, okay. The DC okay. of this save is equal to 10 plus half your alchemist level plus the alchemist intelligence modifier. And the half of the level is rounded up, I think, on that. It's, it's yeah. always down. Oh, it's always down. Okay. But that means the save is still 15 for me. Oh I have a 20 god. Oh my god. I have a 20 <laughs> Dear <laughs> lord. The idiot savant. Well, my, my character is has like high stats but they're kind of a little off in the head in the thank fact you that for, thank you for hanging out Bruce if you can hear anything from anyone's chats thank you for hanging out I'm glad you had a lot of mm -hmm. fun uh, Bruce had to go oh, I... oh Bruce had to leave okay mm -hmm. that's right well yeah he There's had to go like right at... yeah he had to go right at 8 yeah thank you shy baby also for that um that helps a lot for icons too uh, did I save this? Save image. <laughs> Whatever I did. What's that? And so I mean, we're gonna set up for like probably once a week. I want to say, and when I stream this for the record, guys, I'm only gonna stream it. I'm only on that day that I'm streaming. I'm only streaming this, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna cut stream afterwards. So I have like free time. Yeah. And. Um, I want so, to try and do it on Friday, but if we can manage to somehow get it to happen like Thursdays or Tuesdays, that would help a lot too. Because I can for him. yeah, I can guarantee um, you'll those, be here. Yeah, and I I don't want to leave people out. I want to have everybody be here. Um, so even if we have to drop it to like every other week and we can alternate days on when it is like mm -hmm. based off of availability that would probably be, we want to try and be flexible about this because yeah. yeah. I want to make sure everybody's here because then every, somebody's not left out and then they feel like uh, that they yeah. missed out on the fun yeah and we want always that awkward moment of oh no I I isn't I here. what do we do with his character we're in the middle of a dungeon yeah well that's what uh, how do we between... get them back between the, like, or even the DM and them can uh, work together, like, off screen. Like, they go, their character goes off and is doing something for the, like, their character growth, their development, things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, like, and, it's, if you can, if, if we're, like, say, if we stopped in town and somehow, for some reason, somebody can't make the next session, we can do something like, this person needs a rest. And they need to stay in town um, until the next, until the comeback. And then there's a way to just write you back in um, mm -hmm. some way. But as it stands, I personally, with the way I play, would prefer everybody being here. Being able to get yes. everybody here. Agreed. Which, also, by the way, Kino, I don't know if you know all of the abilities of the Alchemist at level 1. I still also have my mutagen I can utilize. Oh, oh mutagen is so cool. I forgot that mutagen and was a thing. I, I can chug the mutagen and get a bonus to my strength, dexterity, or con, and pretty much always going to pump it into dexterity so I can throw easier. <laughs> oh, and man. And while I have it on me, I have a plus two natural armor bonus, and uh, I get a plus four to strength, dexterity, or con. Yeah, okay. alchemists are pretty great. Yes. Oh, so yes. good. I may yes, have, they uh, are. I may have accidentally uh, uh, made this next encounter a little weaker than intended. Because, because you forgot about my bombs. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't, well, one, I didn't know about your bombs. But two, <laughs> learning that you had a blow dart made me change a couple of things. Well, I, if I, any of you I wanted being... just like a lightweight weapon... That I can just like pull out when I don't have bombs, but I have eight bombs per day right now. Because mm -hmm. if any of you were paying attention, <laughs> the the guys on the frogs used a blow dart. To nail yeah, you said they had two. They had blow darts <laughs> to nail Alton in the fa in the shoulder. Which means he's probably poisoned. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Not anymore. I what? Was, um, no, 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 because they're just. They're just darts at the moment, but... They I, could have poison. They could have poison. I wasn't sure what kind of ammo they were going to use. Now I am sure what kind of ammo they were going to use. And, Kino, the reason why I went with a blow dart gun for the Alchemist is at level 2 I can start making poisons. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, so so I can also <laughs> I can also just put my arrows and poison. Uh, I you may accidentally poison yourself. I act. I can't poison it, myself. Yes, yeah, so. there there are rules where you can accidentally poison yourself, and mm -hmm. the alchemist, as uh, Thragon says, has special abilities where they. Don't poison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, poison. Alchemists are trained in the use of poison and starting at second level cannot accidentally poison themselves when applying poison to a weapon. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like what happens when you roll a 1, mm -hmm. which we seem to be very good at. <laughs> so essentially, so, what you do... So I give, is so you... I give him the weapon poison and he yeah. just gives it back to me. I tend to be very good at, <laughs> at rolling high on survivals. In uh, Kino, at level 3, I'm able to essentially make poison as a move action. What? And at level 6, I can apply poison to a weapon as a swift action. Okay, so you just load... <laughs> so, so you just load up a poisoned weapon. Okay. Yeah, I could literally create a poison weapon, uh, create a poison, apply it to my weapon, and shoot it all in the same turn. Okay, so it's a good thing we're in a swamp, because I'm sure there I can find some sort of monster that's immune to poison. Well, as I said, that's at level 6 that I can eventually do that. Yeah. You have a ways until that happens. I yeah. do have a ways. Uh, speaking of, um, when it comes to dishing out experience and things like that, I am not just going to be the, oh, combat's the only way of getting experience. No, you get it through uh, RP and everything. Yes. And so I get it for talking on, to that bird earlier. On that note... <laughs> I want every. I'm going to give everybody um, 100 points of experience for this session. Yay. Cool. Uh, make sure that Bruce is informed of this. Also, what's the uh, XP we need for a level up? Uh, fast. Are you We're there? on the fast track. So I think Which? that's 1,300. Yeah, that's 1,300. So. Okay. You're almost I just need there! To make... <laughs> but yeah, you guys were doing really well, and I appreciate you guys not only trying, but actually trying to play. Um, that goes especially for Drevian, Shy Baby, and Bruce, who all three are playing really strange and intricate characters. Um, I feel like I'm not Shy... playing an interesting one? I mean, no, no, you all are, but you are also a veteran of this game. You played yes. a lot of times. Uh, I appreciate many, many times. I appreciate the new people who have never played before, not being the um, gloomy, edgy. I'm gonna sit in the corner and do nothing, character. Because <laughs> guys, uh, if it's why? over That's here, not... but it's not a dark corner. I'm not going. <laughs> it's not fun if you do that. I mean, that's not entertaining. To... Mm -hmm. I'm just in traumatizing birds. I mean. Is that not edgy? Well, I mean, I've kind of been doing that since since I'm quietest one here. But you've been trying to yeah. you've been trying to play is the thing. Interact. Yeah. Like I've been, I mean, that's it, why I've been I mean, um, that's you're... why I've been calling your name specifically a lot. Okay. That's like when I call a person's name, a character's name, it's I'm trying to get them to interact. And you've always like not ignored me when I did that. You've always done something. Um because it's a new game, and it's a new character, and I can understand not being comfortable um, being as boisterous as Thragon and uh, Joseph are. So, the fact that you're trying and that you're playing means enough to me. Mm -hmm. I think that's really what matters overall. Definitely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. And in due time, and in due time, you'll get the hang of it. You'll figure out how you want to play and everything. Um, with six of you, I'm going to need to... Uh, need you're going to need to put more enemies at us, and you're going to have to put more utility in the hands of the enemy. Yes. Because utility is what wins this game outside of sheer raw damage. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm almost positive that you guys are going to kind of blow through this combat. Uh, Probably. Probably. But... I might kill like two of the two or three enemies in one bomb. Mm-hmm. But I, at least <laughs> what did you guys think about the fact that you're not fighting kobolds or goblins? Yay! Because that's like the standard first enemy. Mm-hmm. 
It's like, well, it depends. If you're like in an undead campaign, then you're fighting skeletons. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy and excited for this, and appreciate. And I'm well, really I'm glad. intrigued because because I haven't actually had a campaign that didn't start off with kobolds, goblins, or skeletons. Nice. All of them always have. Always. I mean, I like, won't say that there won't be those things. Yes, but I'm saying like our first combat always was those things. Yeah, is my. Point. <laughs> it's like I... I still like. I I still remember, the one campaign uh, that I first started playing Pathfinder with. It was mm -hmm. with some of my college buddies, and after we got done with the first round, of, first round of combat, it was like eight goblins we were against, and we were a party of five. Oh god. Um, and. Our face of the party, who had the highest charisma, was a, uh, they were a sorcerer who was focused on necromancy. Oh, no. <laughs> and they, uh, they role-played the character as if they were Ned Flanders. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, God. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> he, he played him like Ned Flanders went around people, but went outside of town and everything. He was like, like this, like, maniacal mad scientist type that was he had like two skeletons always following him all I the time. How, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he played him like fucking Ned Flanders went around people and was like always overly nice and like, can I do anything for you? And like rubbing his hands and being like, you know, just trying to schmooze his way through everything. That is ridiculous. It was like that is one of my fondest memories from playing Pathfinder was my very first campaign. Mm-hmm. Which that, that campaign that made me think. Hmm? Can, I yeah. steal, can I steal all their frog mounts? Um, if they're alive, and uh, you'd have to get very lucky. Well, here's the thing. So, to to give to paint the perspective of this, these guys are about four feet tall. Uh, mm -hmm. The frog is about the size of a small a horse. horse. Yeah, it's about the size of a donkey. Um, oh, that, it works for a pack animal, then. <clears throat> the problem is, is that it's a frog. And... What's wrong with a frog? You got something <laughs> against frogs, Kino. No, 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 I don't have anything against I, frogs. I think he might. He just put a bunch in front of us to die. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, if we team wipe on this, that, that this is... That I'm not doing Pathfinder again on my channel. I'm like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> If we all die to these frogs, I will cry. Mm -hmm. Well, the fun thing is, is that there are some special abilities that these things have. So I know they it. have. Um, I know they have them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the frogs Kino, are about. Forget. The frogs are about. Um, they're about the size of a donkey, and they are trained by these things. Yeah, they're so... trained by them, so you. Kinda. You're probably not going to be able to steal it, and okay. they're also poised to attack because these things are also going to attack you too. Um, so have fun with that, by the way. As you guys we will. all just um, yes, put the 100 percent, the 100 experience on the character sheet. It's at the very top of the very first page. Um. There's yep, going to be a thing top, that says top right corner. Current experience and next level experience. Uh, set your next, next level is 1300. Yes. Set your next level to 1300. 